Sarah's mother is going to be the title of our sermon, the testimony of Sarah's mother. Kupupura kwa maya wa Sisera. Dori cha wafangere, dori cha shumira. Kupupura kwa maya wa Sisera. Maya wa Sisera wakapupura kwa the mother of, of Sisera testified. We are going to hear the testimony of the mother of Sisera. We preached last time um, about uh, Deborah, the mother in Israel, the mother in Israel. Today we are going to be in, in Judges chapter 5 again, where we are going to hear about the testimony of Sisera's mother, Kupupura Pamaiwa Sisera. Yes, let's uh, travel together in this sermon. Maybe I'm, I just want to give a warning because we are going to be cruising a little bit faster, uh, but my hope and the prayer is that you are not going to be left behind. Uh, I hope you have also uh, listened to the earlier sermons that we preached from Judge chapter 4 and 5. Last time I cited the Acts of Jail and a sermon titled Epaisi Seram Kaka. <coughs> we also preached last time Deborah, a mother in Israel. Today we have the testimony of Sisera's mother, Kupupura kwa maya wa Sisera. Saka tishati fambe zishoma, tishati manye zishoma. But for those who have listened to the other earlier sermons, you are not going to struggle to catch up uh, with the pace by which we are going to be cruising. But at the same time, I hope even those who are joining us for the first time, you are also going to get a share uh, from what the Lord is going to teach us today. So let's uh, hear the reading of the scriptures from Judges chapter 5, verse 28 to 31. We are going to listen to the uh, English, the King James Version, and we are going to uh, also hear the Shona rendering <coughs> of the same scriptures. The mother of Sisera looked out at a window and cried through the lattice. Yes. Why is this chariot so long in coming? Yes. Why tarry the wheels of his chariots? Yes. A wise lady answered her. Yes. Yeah. She returned the answer to herself. Yes. Have they not spared? Yes. Have they not divided the prey? Yes. To every man a damsel or two. Yes. To Cicera a prey of diverse colors. Yes. A prey of diverse colors of needlework. Yes. Of diverse colors of needlework on both sides. Yes. Meet for the necks of them that take the spoil. Yes. So let all thine enemies perish. Yes. O Lord. Yes. But let them that love him be as the sun when he goes forth in his might. Yes. And the land has rest forty years. The land had rest forty years. Yes, Mbangeri. Let's hear what the Shona uh, version says. Wakatara pa windy. Akadana, maiva sisera, wakadana pa utanda waro. Mm -hmm. Ngoro yake ino nono kireiko mm -hmm. kushika. Makumbu yengoro zake ano nono kireiko. Wakazi wake, waka, waka, waka kudwa, waka chenjera, waka mpindura. Na iye amene, waka shipindura achiti. Mm -hmm. Havana kuwa na ere, shavaka pamba. Havana mm -hmm. kuzi goba na ere, zime murume, mume no mume, unopiwa, muskana mume, kana vaskana vaviri, mm -hmm. zime sisera uchapiwa nguo, zaka pambra, zama vara mava, zama vara vara, mm -hmm. nguo, zaka pambra, zemiche kayaka rupa, yama vara vara, nguo, zaka, zama vara vara, zaka rupa, kunivizose, zaka, mm -hmm. zaka fandira mitsipa, mm -hmm. yaba, ya, yaba kapamba. Mm -hmm. Sai zozo, vavengi venyu, vose ngava pa, parazwe, mm -hmm. ishe. Mm -hmm. Asi iwo, vanokudai, ngava vene zuva, vagava vese zuva, kanarichi buda, se simbara, ne simbararo, mm -hmm. nyika, ika zorora, makore, anama kumimana. <laughs> Yes, so this is the, this is the reading of the scriptures. I'm laughing because uh, uh, some of these uh, scriptures that we are 
a preaching from or which the Lord is giving us to learn his word from. There are those scriptures which those who want um, other things from the word, uh, not what the word was intended to give. Because when the Lord um, wrote the, the, the scriptures, or when we have all the prophecies, all the scriptures in the Old Testament, the Lord wanted to convey a, a very simple message. It's simple to us, but it's not simple to everyone. The Bible talks about Christ, is, is our motto, is, is a slogan in Ziklag. So when you read such scriptures like this, or like this, and you want to extract moral lessons from them, or you want to, de to make declarations uh, in your life, or you want to uh, probably gain something material from these scriptures from the Lord, you will get confused. What is it that I'm going to say about the mother of Sisera? Who is the mother of Sisera? What was she, what was she talking about? For so why do we have the words of the, of the mother of Sisera in the Bible? Was it for the mother of Sisera? Was it for Sisera? Was it for those people in Israel who lived during this time? But all what we know is all the prophets uh, that is in the scriptures it was inspired by the Spirit of God and is there for our learning. What were Deborah and Barak trying to convey to us? Of course, we know they actually uh, they were celebrating the victory to them, which God gave uh, from the hands of Jabin, the king of Canaan, or from the hands of Sisera. At that time, Israel celebrated. They said, Deborah who is the judge in Israel, and a Barak, who, whom we worked with, they've actually brought salvation to Israel. But for us, it's not about Deborah and Barak, neither is it about Sisera. It is about us. It is for us, so that we may learn. But what is exactly that we should learn when we read scriptures like this? Sisera. Panzio. So I like First Peter chapter one verse nine. First Peter chapter chapter one verse nine. It shows us uh, that everything that we are going to get from the scriptures, it is pertaining to the salvation of our souls. But this salvation now, it is what the the Barakis and the Deborahs were searching about when they were singing this song. They were actually, uh, they were searching for this salvation. What does the scripture say? First Peter chapter 1 verse 9. Receiving the end of your faith. Yes. Even the salvation of your souls. What about this salvation? Of which salvation the prophets have yes. inquired and searched diligently. Yes. Who prophesied of the grace that should come unto you. So they were prophesying, the prophets, all the prophets, they were prophesying about the grace that should come unto us. Yes. Searching what or what manner of time the Spirit of Christ which was in them did signify. So when you read these prophecies, you are going to find out that there was a certain time. They were not just searching, but they were searching for what manner of time. There was a time which the Spirit of Christ, which was, an, which was in them, did signify. When? Yes. When it testified beforehand yes. the sufferings of Christ yes. and the glory that should follow. This is the time. So every prophecy that you see, it is signifying of a certain time. Which time it was testifying of the suffering of Christ yes. and the glory that should come. So our prophet said, Genesis so Deborah and Barak, they were not singing anything. They were searching what or what manner of time. What is manner of time? The spirit was signifying. So when we hear about this time to us now, it is for our salvation. 
it, it also demonstrates the grace. We have received the grace in what way? Not because we have been enriched financially. Our grace is not that we are in 2023. We had some, some people celebrating at the beginning of this year to say, by grace, we, we are now in 2023. But when we talk about the grace ourselves, it is the grace of knowing uh, about what the prophets searched. <laughs> we now know that time. When we read the scriptures, we, the scriptures converge to that time. All the scriptures. What exactly about this time that they were uh, searching about? They wanted to testify. So we have a testimony of the mother of Sisera. <laughs> They were testifying beforehand the suffering of Christ and the glory that should follow. So, where are we going to get this testimony now? Verse 12. Unto whom it was revealed. Unto the prophets it was revealed. That not unto themselves. So, Deborah and Barak, when they sang this song, which is a, a song of prophecy, they were not singing unto themselves. But unto us they did minister. So when they sang this song, Deborah and Barak, unto us they did sing. <laughs> the things which are now reported unto so you. They were not singing about Sisera. They were not singing about what had happened in Israel. They were singing about the things which are now reported to us. Yes. But by them that have preached the gospel so unto they you. They are preachers who are going to come and preach the gospel. Yes. With the Holy Spirit sent down from heaven. Yes. Which things the angels desire to look into? So the, the, the angels, they desire to hear about the interpretation of this song from Deborah and Barak. Yes. So when we open such scriptures, even angels, they want to hear. So mm. you are saying Deborah and Barak, they were singing not unto themselves. So unto whom were they singing? Mm. They were singing unto you about what? Mm. About the grace. What about the grace? It was about the salvation which we're going to receive. So what are you saying? We are going to demonstrate what the Spirit of God was signifying by that time when it was in Deborah and Barak. This song was not just a, a song of excitement. It was an expression, though, of what had happened. But Holy Spirit, he put these words in their mouth and they sang a song and that song was written. And what were the words? of that song. The words of that song says, the mother of Sisera looked out um, at a window and cried through the lattice. Why is his chariot so long in coming? This is the boy and Barak singing. Why tarry the wheels of his chariot? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> mm. So what we see now from the mother of Sisera's testimony is a shock. Yes. It is a, 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 someone who is surprised. Yes. The mother of Sisera is surprised. This has never happened. Throughout the life of Sisera, Sisera has never been hindered. Sisera has never been defeated. Sisera has never stayed long. In fact, what Sisera used to do when he goes to fight with the people, he does not take long. It was a small matter to Sisera to defeat the people of Israel. It was not a big deal to Sisera. Sisera has a 900 chariots mm. who can speed those chariots. And because of the speed of the chariots, Sisera would not take time. What happened to the wheels of his chariots? What happened? As far as I know, Sisera, as far as I've been with Sisera for this while, this has never happened. So we hear a change of testimony from the perspective of the mother of Sisera. It's a shock, which means Sisera's mother needs a response. Sisera's mother needs a, a feedback. What happened? What happened to my son? What happened to Sisera? This has never happened. Sisera, what I know is when Sisera goes out, he very quickly, mm -hmm. he defeats the people and it's time to shed the spoil. Yes. Those who go to Sisera, they get a damsel or a two. two. That's what I know. Mm. They get a damsel or two. Each and every one of them, they get a damsel or a two. 
to take this damn cell <laughs> or you may take two. That's what mm. I know. Mm. That's what the mother of Cicera knows. Yes. Or what I know is that when they, they take the spoil, they need to work now. <laughs> the mm. special <laughs> embroidery, the 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 the, 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 the most beautiful of what they are going to take out of the spoil. It belongs to Cicera. Mm. I know that Cicera comes putting on a nice jacket, that which is a, 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 of, 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 of a very artistic a embroidery. That's what I know. And what I know is when Cicera comes back on the necks of those who go to Cicera, I know that they put their um, uh, things there. Diverse colors of yes. needlework on Diverse both sides. Diverse colors of needlework on both sides. Which sides are you talking about? <laughs> Meet for the necks <laughs> of them <laughs> that take the spoil. What do you mean, Mr. Kafar? 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 Yes. The... <laughs> Those who belong to Cicera. That's what I know. So what has happened today, I need an explanation. I need an explanation. Who is going to tell me what happened to Cicera? Yes. That was the mother of Cicera's testimony. Mm. That was the mother of Cicera's testimony. So when we look at this testimony before we go into the testimony, we see uh, what the mother of Cicera is showing us is that something happened. Yes. Something happened. <laughs> which is the time which the prophets were searching about. Mm. That is where the mother of Cicera wants to point us to. The mother of Cicera says, I think there is something that has happened. Something unusual. Something unusual. Mm. From the days of Adam mm. unto the time <laughs> of the cross, Cicera has never struggled. Yes. So tell me what happened. What happened to my son? What happened to Cicera? What happened to the chariots of Cicera? What happened to the wheels of Cicera? What happened to the speed that Cicera used to attack people with? What happened? Tell me. So see, the mother of Cicera, she wants feedback. She wants feedback. Wanda kuziwa oma ya Cicera. Zaita sei. Asa zomba yitika zomba kutawarezi. Zaita sei. Sisera asa tambo tambo kizika. Kuva. Nishimu ziwain. Kuva nishimu bereka. Asa zombo yitika. Waka gara pa windu. Mae wa sisera. Vani mfunza waina. Ndita urire. Shisha itika nasa. Azite. Sisera anu na kikuzoka. Sisera ane mabiza. Sisera ane ngoro. Sisera. Azito. Sisera tu wana waskana watu wei wana usu. One one, one one. One one, one one. One one, So in the morning, when evangelist was teaching, every time. Like we preached the last time we talked about Devora. We saw um, Jael, who represents the New Testament believers. We saw Jael uh, actually putting a nail in the temples of, of Cicera after giving him milk. We know what happened. We are not going to dwell much on that. Cicera was discomfited from his chariot by Barak, and he was now on foot. He entered into Jael's house, and when he went into that house, we know what happened. He requested for water, and, and, and Jael said, instead of water, Jael gave Cicera milk. After getting the milk, Cicera slept flat, never to wake up. Mm. And what happened to, to Jael? She took a nail and a hammer. She fastened uh, on the temples of, of Cicera. And Cicera died. Mm -hmm. And the mother of Cicera was calculating the time. The time that Cicera went to battle. When I look at the time, 
Sisera has never taken this long. Mm. Something can something should have happened. I need an explanation. So in the morning, if you remember the other scripture which evangelist opened quickly, Romans chapter six, uh, verse sixteen. Romans chapter six, verse sixteen. Uh, it 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 puts us to this position to understand uh, what happened now. Because we are talking about Sisera. The last time we showed you that Sisera represents the Antichrist. Sisera represents the, the beast. Sisera represents um, the, the, the works of the devil. So Sisera was the one who was fighting. He fought with Barak. And we showed you last time that Barak represented our Lord in the flesh. He, he, he fought with Barak. He fought Barak, he fought with Sisera, and he defeated him. And the time that we see Sisera in Giles' house, it is the time when Sisera is defeated. He is off his chariot. He is now on foot trying to, to deceive people through his message. But thanks be to God, because we now have a church of the living God. We now have a believer who has milk, which is an, an adulterated gospel. We have a nail, which are the scriptures of the word of God. We have the hammer, which is actually uh, the Holy Spirit, who is going to fasten the nail in, 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 in Sisera's uh, C, C, C head. And we are going to see the defeat of Sisera. So Sisera now fell in the hands of a woman, and the mother of Sisera is shocked. Uh, Romans chapter 6, verse 16. Know ye not yes. that to whom you yield yourselves servants to obey, yes. his servants you are to whom you obey, yes. whether of sin unto death yes. or of obedience unto righteousness. Yes. But God be thanked. God be thanked. Why? That, that you, were serv you were servants of sin. You used to be servants of Sisera. Because last time we showed you that Sisera was uh, actually taking advantage of sin. He was defeating people on account of sin. People actually sinned against God, and God was wrath uh, to them. During that time, when sin was yet to be dealt with, Sisera had dominion over the children of Israel, over the people of God. But we used to be servants. During the time when Israel was under Jabin, Israel was living as a servant, or Israel were servants to Jabin, the, the king of Canaan. They saved him. Whatever instruction he gave them, they obeyed. And sin was taking dominion. Sin was in charge. So when he says bad, he's, he's now pointing us to the time. This is what the mother of Sisera is talking about. There seems to be a change. People used to be servants of Sisera. Something could have happened to Sisera by now. But I do not know what happened. I still need an explanation. But God be thanked why that you were servants of sin. So what happened? But you have obeyed from the heart yes. that form of doctrine which was delivered you. So when the form of doctrine which is delivered to us, we all know that we, we, we were not going to have the doctrine which was going to be delivered to us before the suffering of Christ. It is the suffering of Christ and his glorification mm -hmm. that was going to necessitate now the form of doctrine. Yes. Yes. Because remember, this form of doctrine is what the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, was going to interpret now mm -hmm. using the mouths of what? Of the witnesses, of the apostles, of the ministers. Yes. So we know if those who are sent by God, who have the Holy Spirit with them, Holy Spirit is going to show us those things. So for us to have victory over Sisera, it means we have received now what we have received. We have received the doctrine, yes. which yes. is the milk, which was in a lordly dish. We preached about it last time. Yes. So also, when we look at Colossians chapter three, which we also uh, we also opened this time, last time in the morning, uh, I want you to read verse seven in a, a Colossians chapter three, just verse seven. In the which you also walked some time. Yes. When you lived in them. So the list of those things which were actually said for us to modify uh, the members which are in the flesh, 
we are instructed to modify. But we know what are we going to use to modify those deeds of the flesh? What is it that we are going to use to modify the deeds of the flesh? So last time we proved it to you that the only time we are going to be able to modify um, the deeds of the flesh, it is when uh, we now have the Spirit of God. Yes. When the Spirit comes, we are going to modify uh, the deeds of the flesh. So if you go to Galatians uh, chapter number 5, Galatians chapter number 5, um, in verse 16 it says what? This I say then, walk in the Spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of, of the, the flesh. flesh. So what do we need now for us to have victory over Sisera? We have to walk in the Spirit. But for us to walk in the Spirit, it's not just uh, something that's going to happen anyhow. No. We cannot walk in the Spirit if the Spirit of God has not come down from heaven. What was going to necessitate the coming down of the Spirit of God from heaven? It was waiting for the suffering of Christ, for the death of Christ on the cross, and the resurrection. After the resurrection, the Lord will then qualify to open the seals, which we have seen in in Revelation chapter 5, the lamb which was slain to qualify to open the seals. So after opening the seals, Holy Spirit was going to come down to do what? To show us those things so that we have the doctrine, so that we have the message. So we are going to witness now the defeat of Sisera from the hands of a woman in the church of the living God. That's when we are going to see that the the Sisera was defeated. Yes. But the, 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 the mother of Sisera, she wants an explanation as to what had happened. Because this has never happened before mm -hmm. in the history mm -hmm. of uh, Sisera. What the mother of Sisera knows, this has never happened. So I'm just showing you the, the time demarcation that indeed uh, when the apostle says, in time past, some time He's pointing out it, something which has happened to change this language. For us to say, in the time past, this is how mm. we used to live. Some time we used to live like this. Yes. So what happened? There's an explanation. Even if you go to the book of Ephesians chapter 2, um, uh, in verse number 2, maybe starting to read from verse number 1, what does it say? And and you, Ethiopicad, yeah. which were dead in trespasses and sins, yes. where in time past you walked according to the course of this world, yes. according to the prince of the power of the air, yes. the spirit that now works in the children of disobedience. Okay, just that scripture. So it, 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 it is showing us how Sisera thrived. There is a time past. Yes. Every time when you get into the scriptures, when you want to take, talk about the grace which was shown to us yes. or the grace that we receive, there is a time past. We all have that time past. This time past is the time when Sisera was in charge. According to the course of this world and according to the prince of the power of the air, mm -hmm. according to the spirit that worketh in the children of disobedience, there is always a time past. Yes. So there's something that happened to change that. Ukonations they have past two. It means two o'clock. Yes. Uh, the, the clock is hit actually two. Yes. So it's now past, which means that those are two. Paling what that aka shika. Dodi kutwa kwa paru funduana, my wife is there. Waru kutwa gangua. Kutungua ne zis. So I just opened these scriptures to show you that the mother of Sisera is proving to us so that whenever we are going to be thankful, if we rewind the time, the question that the mother of Sisera is asking, we may answer that question to say, the reason why Sisera is no longer dominant the reason why Sisera is no longer victorious. The reason why Sisera is no longer begged. The reason why 
the dumb cell they are saved, which means the reason why Sisera died, it is the salvation that has come now to, to dumb cells. Yes. Because Sisera Gawina, Israel is with our Kuno, Mandara, and what was Kana Israel, Manga de Waka to Batquaso, Nua Kumana Sisera, Machin Guanao. Manga de Wako for Fruit Washing to Anone, Nua Kumana Sisera, Kurara was Sisera Mama Jail, Kupon is Wako Mandara, them Israel. Yes. The dumb cells yes. in Israel have been saved. Mm. It's salvation to the dumb cells in Israel. Otherwise, if Sisera was going to be victorious, a, a dumb cell or two was going to be headed over to the army of Sisera. Yes. So there's a certain time. There's a certain time when these things were going to happen. So what are we going to do now? What are we going to do? We are going to, um, to go back a little bit and, and, and read a few scriptures to show you. Was last time we proved that it was on account of love that we, 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 we were given the begotten son. Mm -hmm. And because of that love now, it is that love that gave birth to the mission of Christ here on earth. So Christ was going to suffer on account of that love. So when you also go to the to the mystery of, of darkness, when we now learn about uh, the devil himself, whereupon we are the children of God who understand uh, uh, Jabin, Sisera, and his chariots. So when we learn about the kingdom of darkness, now in the New Testament, we are not learning about the kingdom of darkness. We are tracing and demonstrating how great salvation which was brought to us by our Lord Jesus Christ. Because our message at the end of the day, the end of our faith is the salvation of our soul. Yes. So whenever we are learning about Sisera, we are not learning about him in isolation. We want to demonstrate how the salvation, how the grace that was demonstrated to us came to us. Mm. We now, we are investigating in what way were we bound? In what way were we in bondage, in slavery? Who had actually put us in, in bondage? What caused us to be put in bondage? Mm. He was using what strategy? So if you are now delivered, how was that deliverance brought to us? We are investigating our salvation. Yes. So that at the end of the day, we are going to celebrate not about Sisera. We are going to see the mighty, the greatness of Deborah and Barak. We are going to see about the love of God. It's all about the love of God. He loved us. He gave his only begotten son. So that whosoever is going to believe in the begotten son is not going to perish but have everlasting life. That is the reason why if people are going to construct churches, church buildings, they are saying we want a place where we are going to be preaching or learning the word of God. What is that message which should, they should learn about? They should learn about the grace that was promised in the prophets of old. They should learn about the salvation which was promised in the prophets and in the law. Yes. You see. So if you go to Isaiah chapter 14, I want us to go to Isaiah chapter 14 from verse 12. And I also want us to open uh, Ezekiel chapter 28 from verse 12. I want, I want you to know and to understand that when you see now uh, the serpent in, in Genesis chapter 3, the word of God is very clear in Genesis chapter 3 verse 1 that the serpent was the most subtle of all the beasts that the Lord God had created. Which means we see now uh, the serpent in, in operation, the, the serpent functioning. And according to Revelation chapter 12, verse 9, it explains that when, you, when I'm talking about the serpent, I'm not talking about cobras <laughs> and, uh, and these other snakes that, you know, I'm talking about that old serpent. I like the... Uh, Revelation chapter 12, verse 9, he talks about uh, the great dragon was cast out. Who is the great dragon? I'm talking about that old serpent called the devil and Satan, yes. which, which deceived the, the whole world. world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. So from Revelation <laughs> chapter 12, verse 9, we, 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 we now see that Revelation chapter 12, verse 9, is it before Genesis chapter 3? 
Because what we see in Genesis chapter 3, we see the serpent deceiving <laughs> the woman. Mm -hmm. We see the serpent deceiving the woman. But when we see now in Judges chapter 5, we are going to see the woman was God has actually said, you defeated the woman in the first place. Mm -hmm. And you took advice and said, ah, the woman is weak. I am going to go through the woman. Mm -hmm. You defeated the woman in Genesis chapter 3 through mm -hmm. your subtlety. Mm -hmm. Now, after the time which the prophets were prophesying about, mm -hmm. you are going to hear about a testimony that that woman which was deceived in the garden uh, by the old serpent is the one who has defeated <clears throat> the serpent. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so let's let's read Isaiah chapter 14 from verse 12. How art thou fallen from heaven? So he is talking us, he's, he's, Isaiah is prophesying about a, a, a mystery <laughs> of how then we, we came up with this serpent mm -hmm. yes. that we are talking about. Mm -hmm. So, but in all these <coughs> prophets that Isaiah is going to give us. What we know at the end of the day, it is the Lord has created the beast, the, the serpent, yes. among the beasts that are created, which means the serpent is a creature. So what we see now, we are going to see the process by which this serpent was actually created. So he is talking about Lucifer. Mm -hmm. Yes, that Kerud, who used to be in, 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 in Eden. We are going yeah. to learn about it very soon. So, how art that fallen from heaven? Oh, Lucifer, yes. son of the morning. Son of the morning. How means art? The morning is the, is the father of, of Lucifer. Yes. So, if you are going to find what is called, or who is called the morning, he is the father of Lucifer. Which means if Lucifer is, is, is a son of the morning, it, it all comes back to Genesis chapter 3, verse 1. So, we want to see. He has fallen down and was cut down to the ground, which did this to weaken the nation. Yes. How art that cut down to the ground, which did didst weaken the nations? Yes. For thou hast said in thine heart, yes. I will ascend into heaven. Yes. I will exalt my throne yes. above the stars of yes. God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation yes. in the sides of the north. Yes. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. Yes. I will be like the most high. Yes. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell yes. to the sides of the pit. Okay, let's just end it there. So what we see now, we see when we talked about the mother <coughs> of, 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 of Israel, when we talked about what gave birth to the begotten son, we saw the love of God. But yes. now we want to see. So if the, the love of God is what brought uh, the, 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 the begotten son into being. So when we see also, we see Sisera. When we see also the beast. When we see the Antichrist. Yes. So we want to know the mystery. What happened? So we are taught about the dragon, that old serpent. So we are being told about pride. So it's the opposite of what we learned in the first in the, uh, teaching about Deborah. So when we talk that, when you, <coughs> when you come to the kingdom of God, you are going to learn about, about love. It is love that gave birth to the suffering of Christ. It is love that gave birth to Christ uh, coming in the form of the flesh. It, it is love that led Christ to suffer. It is love that uh, led Christ to give himself for us. Out of love, out of God's love, we now have the begotten Son. So out of what then do we have uh, the, the, the Antichrist? Out of what then do we have uh, the beast? Out of what? So what we learn from Isaiah chapter 12, we see pride being the source. What led Lucifer to fall from heaven to the ground is pride. Every time you see pride, if you want to go to a, a church where the devil is speaking, if you look at their mouth, if you look at what they say, what is going to be on top of that shrine is pride. Mm. Lack of submission to the authority of God, also trying to put your throne, also trying to be a God. You have 
put a throne of your own in your mind, in your messages. She is in a Tawituane Satan at Paridwa, Kuma Shrine, Kuzikuda, Kuzikuda, Dog Nobereka, and a Christ. You want to go against the order of God. What led Lucifer to fall from heaven? It is pride. Yes. But the question comes back. If Lucifer fell because of pride, or if it is because of pride that we now have the serpent, but the serpent being created by God, it simplifies the, the whole issue. Mm -hmm. So what, what it means is, it is God who put the pride in this serpent, yes. in, in, in Lucifer. Agai wane to pride, Satan, or Lucifer, agai wane to pride. Agai to wane ashe. So, to create a serpent who is a Satan, pride was found in him. And when, he, when pride was found in him, he was cast down on earth. Saka, inu taongi ngano. Daini ita kutaka, dea anga sinakuwa na pride. Anga dea achi kwe rena na asa. Yo mfunzo ngori kwa. Kuri yaka pindiri yuko pride maari. Unga dea achi kwa na asa. But ea anga achi kwa na asa, asina kudona. If there was not going to be proud, pride found in him. If pride was going, if pride was not going to give birth to these four that we've witnessed in, 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 in. In Isaiah chapter 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 fourteen verse from verse four, then if you read Revelation chapter four verse nine and ten, you are going to see now that when God wanted to hedge the plan of salvation, it required uh, the devil to be cast down, because after casting down the the devil in, on 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 Revelation chapter four verse nine, verse ten now it introduces. Uh, in 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 herald an announcement that because the devil is cast down now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our god and the power of his christ because the power of his christ is manifesting against the the the, the devil yeah. let's read ezekiel 28 from verse 12 this time I was talking about the king of, of Tyrus, but it was just a figurative language to actually uh, demonstrate to us what happened to this devil, which we are talking about, the serpent, the old serpent called the devil and Satan. Verse, 20, verse 12, I, Ezekiel 28. Son of man, yes. take up a lamentation upon yes. the king of Tyrus and say unto them, Thus yes. says the Lord God, yes. Thou sit. Thou sealest up the sum full of wisdom yes. and perfect in beauty. Yes. Thou hast been in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone was thy covering, the sardius, topaz, and diamond. Yes. And the burial, the onyx, and the jasper, the sapphire, and the emerald, and the kabuko, and gold and the workmanship of thy tablets and of thy pipes was prepared in thee in the day that thou was created. You see now, he was created. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Verse thou, thou art the anointed cherub uh, that covereth, and I have set thee so. Thou, were, thou wast upon the holy mount of God, mountain of God, Yes. Thou hast walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. Yes. Thou wast perfect in thy ways. Yes. From the day that thou was created. Yes. Till iniquity was found in thee. Yes. We will just wait there and forget. So, what happened? Thou wast perfect in thy ways. From the day thou was created. Till it is pointing to a certain time. Iniquity was found in him. So it is because of iniquity. It is because of iniquity. But according to Ezekiel in Isaiah chapter 14, it is because of pride. 
kuzikudza ndo kwa konzeresa kuti chi kuti mukoma na adonezwe nokuda kuzikudza that's what we see um, in, 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 in the scriptures that we have read so we have, we have seen all this while we have seen all this while it was from genesis chapter 3 that's where we see the fall of men and we preached about the chariots of Sisera and we indicated that to summarize what is in the chariots of Sisera, it is a message. Uh, and this, me this message, which is in, in the chariots of Sisera, they can be summarized as lies or falsehoods mm. or what we call heresy. And this heresy is not something that started uh, today. No. In the garden, what we see, we see um, the, serpent, the serpent interacting with the woman. But how was the woman deceived by the serpent? The serpent is poor. Yes. Nyoka papi. So this is the what happens to the to the serpent, and we see the interaction there um, uh, from verse number verse number one. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field, yes. which the Lord God had made. Yes, and he said unto the woman, Yes, yeah. just wait there. <laughs> when you want to see, if we say the serpent is subtle. And end it there. Most people right now, they are deceived. They think that for you to see the manifestation of the serpent, you have to go and look at maybe uh, the ailments, when people are sick, when there are earthquakes in this world, when people are dying, when we have accidents uh, all over in the world, uh, when things are not right, when economics and, and the politics of, of, of the nation are crumbling. When things are not working out, your money are not balancing in your family. Things are not right. The devil should be behind this. But when the Lord introduced this serpent, he is the one who created this serpent. Yes. After telling us that the serpent is subtle, what was the next thing which the serpent did? The serpent said unto the woman, mm -hmm. is the message now. Yes. So had the serpent not spoken to the woman, there was no way that the serpent was going to be uh, the, was going to defy or to, to, to deceive the woman. Just by seeing the serpent walking without its, uh, uh, the, the serpent opening its mouth, you are not going to see the subtlety of the serpent. Yes. So what happened in Genesis chapter three? The serpent preached. Yes. Yeah. And when Israel was actually uh, in, in bondage mm. of, 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 of Jabin and Sisera, when we, we talked about the chariots of Sisera, mm -hmm. what led iniquity to come into the world? Because we're talking about sin, which put the people of Israel into slavery, into bondage. But how did this sin uh, come into, into being? The serpent opened its mouth. It is said, Yeah. Yes. yes, God said, you shall not eat of every fruit, every tree of the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent. No, just, just wait, let's go slowly, but <laughs> we want to cruise, I know. So when the serpent in his subtlety, mm -hmm. when he is coming, he, 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 he gets through or he uses uh, the word of God. Mm. <laughs> he mm. said, did God say what mm. he knows is? He is coming to oppose the word. Yes. So it's an issue of the word that God said, which the devil wants to deceive men to walk away from the word that God said. Mm -hmm. Which means when we want to see whether a Sisera is actually in charge in your life, we don't go into your wallet or into your bank account. We don't observe how you are enjoying your marriage with your, with your wife or with your husband. We don't look at the businesses that you have uh, uh, actually established mm -hmm. and how profitable they are. No. 
we go and check <laughs> whether you have not been deceived from what God said. Yes. And how does the devil deceive people from what God says? When the serpent is coming in his satellite, he does not come and say, I am Satan, I want to deceive people. Mm. He says, what did God say? Did God really say? Mm. He starts from what God said, yes. which means the deception of the serpent is on the word that God has said. That's where the deception is. Satan agabata wa nuere, chokwadi, agabata marizao ere kwete, agabata wa sapani zwakata wa wana mahari. Jokura dole, satan agabata wa nubengi wawo. Kana akutza usa, zweta say, he knows very well the devil, that once you are in sin, once you are in disobedient, the wrath of God is going to be on you. And that is what we see in Genesis chapter 3. We see the man and his wife being chased away of the garden mm -hmm. from the presence of the Lord. That's what we see. So this is certainty. Did God really say? So, as we are going to learn about how Sisera was deceiving people right from the uh, Genesis chapter 3, when we see the first man, Adam, falling to the time of the cross, which is where the mother of Sisera was asking what happened to Sisera. But for you to, uh, to ask these questions, for you to ask these questions, you have to be at a certain position, which the mother of Sisera was. The mother of Sisera was at the window. Mm -hmm. It's very, very, very important. Take note of that. Mm -hmm. Why are people not asking this question that I'm asking? It is the position where they are. Mm -hmm. They are not at the window. <laughs> mm -hmm. If you are inside the house and you are not at the window, you will not care what is happening. You will not even ask the questions. You will not even see that there's something that is very, very important, a question that needs to be answered. You will not see about, about all those things. You just continue and wait and wait and wait for Sisera, hoping for him to come back. The mother of Sisera was at the window, and the mother of Sisera cried out at the lattice. Mm -hmm. Very, very important. The position where the mother of Sisera was is very important. Such kind of questions is asked by those who are at the window. When you start, when you are at the window now, you are now at a spiritual. <laughs> you are looking things with a spiritual eye. Mm -hmm. For you to be saved, you have to be at the window and see what is happening. The goings in and the coming in of Sisera, they are observed by those who are at the window. There's something about the window that we are going to talk about. Very important. For you to come out of the shrine. There was a certain place when you started to ask certain questions. And mm. for you to ask those certain questions, you would be at the window. You are not yet out of the house, but the window gives you access to the firmament, the firmament which is a spiritual environment. Yes. You remember the mystery of creation when we learned about the firmament. The firmament was created to separate the waters that are beneath from the waters that are above. That, that firmament is a place when you go into the firmament, you will see the separation of the waters. You will see that there is water that is from beneath and there is water that is from above. Yes. But if you are not in the firmament, which means you are yet in, in Genesis 0 mm -hmm. <coughs> situation, mm -hmm. where the whole earth is covered by the waters, the waters that are from above and the waters that are within, they are covered. If you are in that situation, you will not ask any question. Those who start to ask spiritual uh, relevant questions in the shrines, they will be now at the window. Most of them, if you look at them, they will not stay long in that window. They are going to jump out of, of Sarah's house <laughs> very soon. It's a spiritual eye that uh, the mother of Sisera was preaching. 
spiritually relevant questions. You are going to raise up your hand in a shrine and ask spiritually relevant questions. They will, they will throw you out through the window. Mm. It's a sign that you are no longer fully in the house. Mm. You are now at the window. You now start to ask questions. But why are we paying tithe? They will say, cursed, the child of the devil. <laughs> why are you asking such a question? Yeah? A, a How, you are a rebel. How then are you going to, to be blessed? That's what they will say. They will involve God in their, in their cunning. But the fact is that at least you start to see into the firmament. Mm. When you look into the firmament, you start to observe there should be a division somehow. Not every gospel is the gospel. It can't be. Don't fool me to say everyone who opens his mouth is saying the truth. The, those in Zion, what they preach, you say, it doesn't matter. Leave, leave them alone. It's the gospel according to them. Those in Anglican, they preach, you say, leave them alone. It's the gospel. They, they, everyone should just preach, leave them alone. That's their own light. That's their own gospel. So you are telling me that all these people, so we are going to heaven with all these differences from the message which they are preaching. So why can't we be in the firmament? So is there no firmament which separates the waters that are above and the waters that are beneath? At least there should be a separation. It means he has not yet, he has not yet found the creation of the firmament in his life. He is still covered by the waters. The waters that are above and the waters that are beneath to him, they are mixed. There is no difference. He cannot separate the waters from above and the waters from beneath. Everything is water. You say, okay, you are in Genesis 0, where the, 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 the waters from above, they, they covered the whole earth. There is no earth to talk about because there is no firmament. Everything is covered. Everything is in water. Mm-hmm. Is it true? It's not true. So this is what we see. This is what we see now. We see a time coming where the mother of Sisera was going to mourn. So why was the devil cruising all this while from Adam until the cross. Where was he cruising? Is it not is not the first man? Is not the first Adam? Yes. It is the first Adam. So even as we read um uh, Romans chapter 5. Let's go to the book of Romans chapter 5. Romans chapter 5. Um, verse number 8. What does it say? But God commendeth his love towards us. Yes. In that while we were yet sinners, Christ yes. died for us. Yes. Much more than being now justified by his blood. Yes. We shall be saved from wrath through him. Yes. For if we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son. Yes. Much more being reconciled, yes. we shall be saved by his life. Yes. Not And not only so, but we also joy in God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. By whom we have now received the atonement. Yes. Verse 12. Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world. Yes. And death by sin. Yes. And so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. You see now. So death passed upon all men, because men have sinned. So the reign of Sisera, it demonstrates the time when sin was having dominion over mankind. 
And when did Sisera first reign? Why was the mother of Sisera surprised by the time that Sisera is taken to return from the battle? He was wondering, all this time, Sisera has never been defeated. From Adam until the cross. Waka shami sika maya wa Sisera. Kuti Sisera anu kundu wa seiku. Kupapala Adam. Kusika pese baka pinda Israel mumrairu. Sisera ashingo kunda. Yes. Ashingo pamba, ashingo pamba, ashingo pamba, ashingo pamba. Apana chakambo hiti kakuna Sisera all this while. He was cruising because the devil knows he is a deceiver. So when you are deceived, it means you are introduced to something that diverts your attention from what the Lord has designed you to obtain. So even from Isaiah chapter 59, verse 1 and 2, we see the separation between man and God as a result of sin. But how did sin enter? into men for the first time. Was it not through the message that the serpent preached to the woman? Sin entered through the message that was preached to the woman. And because of that message, we saw the woman eating the, forbi the forbidden fruit and also giving uh, the fruit to, to his husband, to her husband. And they both ate and they were expelled from the garden. Isaiah chapter 59, verse 1 and 2. Behold, Yes. The, the Lord's hand is not shortened. Yes. That it cannot save. Yes. Neither his ear heavy. Yes. That it cannot hear. Yes. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God. Your iniquities have separated between you and your God. Yes. And your sins have hid his face from you. Yes. That he will not hear. So this is the, 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 the problem. This is the dilemma. What is separating between a uh, man and God? Vamarukuti zikuambu. Zikuti paradzani sana mwari. Vamarukuti vavengi. Varukuti paradzani sana mwari. Vamarukuti varoi. Yo varukuti paradzani sana mwari. No. Your iniquities. They are the ones which separate between you and your God. It is on account of your iniquities. The reason why you are being defeated by Sisera. It is on account of iniquities. Where did we get these iniquities? We inherited from the first man, the first Adam. It is not a sin because you have done something. No, you are born a sinner. Yes. You carry the nature of the first Adam and therefore you inherited this sin. And when Sisera looks at you because he defeated the first Adam, once he sees the nature of the first Adam, he knows very well that I'm going to win the battle. Yes. So what deceived Sisera when he went to, to battle with Barak? He was deceived by the form by which our Lord manifested. He was manifested in the flesh. He came in the flesh. And according to Sisera, if you carry the nature of Adam, you have sin inside of you. And because of sin, I am going to defeat you. There is no way that you are going to defeat Sisera. So, Sisera, what motivated him to go to war? When he heard that Israel had sent Barak to fight with you, he didn't know that this was God's strategy to come in the form of a man. This time now, without sin, because Sisera was having dominion over men on account of sin, mm -hmm. and because of the nature that he came with, he defeated uh, Sisera. Yes. For the first time, Sisera jumped out of his chariot. The last time I, I showed you that evil, heresy, the, the lies of the devil, which, are, which, which the Lord talked about in, in John chapter 8, verse 44, when he was addressing the, 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 the Israelites who were claiming to, to, to have Abraham as their father. He said, no, Abraham is not your father. If Abraham was your father, you are going to believe in me. I want to show you who your father is. He says, the devil is your father. And the last of your father, you will do. What was he doing? The devil he was a murderer from the beginning. And, and in him, there's no truth. Yes. And abode not in the truth. Yes. Because there is no truth in him. Yes. 
when he speaks a lie, yes. he speaks of his own. Yes. For he is a liar yes. and the father of it. So he speaks a lie, not because he generates lies. He is the father of lies. That's why I said in Cicera's chariot, or in Cicera's chariot, they are lies. What happened to these lies? What is he lying about? He is diverting people from the word of God. Manipulating the scriptures so that people, they are separated from God. Once people do not have the word of God, it means they are going to be in their sins and they are going to be separated from God. But I can tell whether he can stand uh, he can stand before me to fight with me. So this this is where we are. So we see Adam being defeated. How? Through the message that the serpent preached. Yes. No. Disobedience through the message. The message was preached by a serpent which led to disobedience. And because of disobedience, man was expelled from the presence of God. And throughout this life, uh, from Adam, even, even unto Moses, uh, when, when, when God gave the law to the children of Israel during the time of Moses, until the cross, the Sarah was defeating mankind. Yes. Mankind was in bondage. And according to 1 John chapter, chapter 2, verse 15 and 16, we know the, the world, love not the world, and everything that is in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. What is in the world? The, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. These are not of the Father, but they are of the world. So, Chish not at one of our heres. Chish not at one of our heres. And according to Second Timothy chapter chapter four, um, verse number from verse number two, he says, "Preach the word, be instant in season." Out yes. of season and out of season, yes. Reprove, reprove, rebuke, rebuke, exhort, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Why? For the time will come yes. when they will not endure sound doctrine. Why are they not going to endure sound doctrine? But after after their own lusts, yes. shall they heap for themselves teachers having itching ears. And what uh, what is going to happen? And they shall turn away their ears from the truth. And shall be turned into fables. Into fables. But this, watch. Yes. But watch thou in all things. Yes. Endure afflictions. Do the work of an evangelist. Yes. Make sure proof of thy ministry. Make full proof of thy ministry. You see now. Yes. So, what, what led us to attend to heresy? It was the itching ears. Why yes. were we having itching ears? to listen to the falsehoods yes. which false preachers preached, it, it resonated with our last. Yes. 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 But after their last, kuchiva, look what we ended up with the false Once we were in the church, 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 
kutusha uta uta zokuwa ni hanya ni shukura mwana yes. and when james was was talking about this um in, in the book of john james james chapter 1 uh, let's see what james said in james chapter 1 uh, let me check which scripture we, we can read from verse 13 read from verse 13 Let no man say when he is tempted yes. I am tempted of God yes. for God cannot be tempted with evil yes. neither tempteth he any man So what happens But every man is tempted yes. when he is drawn away of his own lust yes. and enticed You see now in your own lust <laughs> every temptation mm. when you are going to be defeated by Sisera he attacks you through your own lust Yekuda mari ndo yakakupinza mu kurasika. Yes. Mama andanza anda zvinhu sepa babeg. You wanted the things. Mm. When you went to church, you wanted to go to church so that you get the things and the, the devil says, "Come, you will get the things." Mm. <laughs> Those who come to church for any other reason, they are enticed in their own lust. Therefore the devil is going to 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 defeat you you become a slave you, ca- you become a servant of sin what is happening you are going to church each and every each and every sunday conferences after conferences right now people they were on easter conference in the christian uh, uh, circles if you go i, I, I still used to wonder when i attended uh, rufaro in in uh, after the conference you will discover that people's lives are not changing yes unoenda kumsangano uri mhombwe wodzoka wanyanya wawedzera kuita mhombwe pamsangano ipapo unobuda upombwa wako nesimba guru kuti kondiri kubva kuchurch wanyu ko inga wanda ndiri kuchurch inga wanda nechiparidza inga wanda nechiparidzirwa inga wanda inoimba wanyu inga wanda ino uniform no one dine zvakati sisera is not going to be moved by all those things out of your lust you are enticed and when you fall in various temptations he capitalizes on your lust so it was on account of the lust the lust of the flesh the lust of the eyes and the pride of life that people became slaves of the devil and peter also pastor second yes. peter chapter 2 uh if we read verse 1 and 2 but they were false prophets also among them among the people even as they shall be false teachers among you who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, heresies even denying the lord that bought them Yes. And bring upon themselves swift destruction. Yes, true. And many shall follow their pernicious ways by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. Vazhinji vachatevera utere hwavo nokuda kwavo nzira yezvo kwadi ichazvidzwa saka people will be actually following their own weaknesses and it is that weakness that leads them there. Verse 18 nokuti nokutaura kwao mashoko mazhinji okuzvikudza asina maturo asina maturo vanonyengerwa pakuchiva kwenyama nohutere avo vachangotiza vachibva kuno novanogara pakutsauka so because of the weaknesses they have yes the craving and the lust for certain things people are easily carried away by the heresy you see now so you said amen it was last mm-hmm. which was actually clapping hands for the shrine men to, to 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 actually lord you with heresy mm-hmm. but what was the ultimate goal after listening to heresy after uh, getting all those false promises after doing declarations after uh, fasting and praying in the shrines what happened eventually sisera continued to reign the anti christ continued to have dominion in our lives yes. in what way we 
lived a sinful life. We were slaves of sin. We were in bondage of sin. Why do you know that Mary? Yes. What do you know about that? Quite bad. But you know about that? We are not about to meet Mary. We are going to come and be reconciled to God. Yes. So that you become servants of righteousness, and so that you do not become servants of sin. Yes. Which means if going to church is profitable in your life, we are going to check the life that you now live on account of the form of doctrine that was delivered unto you. Are you victorious over sin? Are you mm. conquering? Are you living a righteous life? Are you living a holy life? That is the sign that is going to tell us that Sisera indeed was defeated. Yes. Otherwise, yes. if we are still living a sinful life, in what way then are you saying Sisera died? Sisera gafa, Sisera gakundwa, agakundwa kut, ana kuzoka ere Sisera. Kubaku hondo mu penyu wako. Aga doka. You wanted to say something, Mbange? Oh yes, I... Concerning the... Uh, actually, verse 3 of Second Peter chapter 2. And through covetousness shall they with faint the words make merchandise of you whose judgment now uh, of a long time longer it not and their damnation slumbereth not. So they make merchandise of you, but they use the feign the words that the deception of the snake, yes. the deception <clears throat> of the devil. Yes. But he, of course, he has his messengers mm -hmm. whom he will send to speak and to lure people unto themselves. Yes, 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 Mvangeri. So we, we, we see now that is where we are. That is where we are. The devil is in charge. Sisera is in charge. So at the time that he heard that Barak is coming to fight with him, he actually started to do some press-ups to say, as long as he's a man, I know I'm going to defeat that man. Yes. So from, from Adam, even unto Moses, even through the, the entire life of many kinds, even up to the, to the cross, that's where we are going. We are going to see the Sarah dominating. Yes. So I was, I was reading all these scriptures to show you why the mother of Sisera was the bride. Yes. It was not um, uh, just a mere surprise. No, it has been a long time, yes. a long time. Thousands and thousands of years, Sisera dominating. So the mother of Sisera was used to this. She was used to do this. Yes. So let's go back to Judges chapter 5 and see what the mother of Sisera said. <clears throat> Verse 28. The mother of Sisera looked out at a window yes. and cried through the lattice. Yes. Why? Is his chariot so long in coming? Yes. Why tarry the wheels of his chariots? Wait there. Very important questions mm. which the mother of Sisera asked. But I, I, I highlighted earlier on that take note of the position where the mother of Sisera was. These questions, they are going to be asked by one who is strategically positioned. The window is what gives access so that's why every time when you hear about the windows of heaven, he's talking about access. Yes. <laughs> the windows of heaven is talking about access of what is coming out from heaven. This is a, a spiritual and figurative language in the word of God. Yes. So if you read the scriptures like Genesis chapter 7, verse 11, and even uh, Genesis chapter chapter 8, verse 1 and 2, you hear about uh, during the days of Noah that when God opened um, uh, the waters to come, mm. he actually opened the windows of heaven. My window, yes. 
mm. windows of heaven. So even if you go to the book of Malachi chapter 3 verse 10, which is the most favorite of people, when they hear about, you must give your tithe uh, into the storehouse and prove God and observe whether God will, is not going to open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that there shall not be room enough to receive, to receive it. So when he says the windows of heaven, he's talking about the access. If, if, if you're going to have a window of heaven, that is where you're going to have access to something that is stored in heaven. When earth receives something from heaven, it is a sign that there are windows of heaven that has been opened. You want to have access from heaven, of things of heaven. Where are they going to come from? There are windows in heaven. Pastor Bale, what are these windows? Where are these windows? <laughs> so God has got a time where he closes the window. Yes. The windows of heaven. And then there's a time when he opens the windows of heaven. But when is God going to open the windows of heaven? And pour out a blessing when you have tried him, when you have proved him by giving him a tithe, <laughs> mm -hmm. giving him how, one out of the ten that he has given you. When you give him one out of the ten that he has given you, you are yes. going to see the windows of heaven a opening mm -hmm. and you are going to see a blessing that is going to come. The windows of heaven is going to give you access to this blessing. He was talking about the suffering of Christ in, in Malachi chapter 3, verse number 10. He was talking about the, the, the suffering of Christ. When Israel was bringing the tithe into the storehouse, it was a message mm -hmm. that the Son of Man who was going to come represented by the Ten Commandments, because he was going to be born, he was going to come, according to Galatians chapter 4, verse number 4, under, this, under, and under the law made of a woman. So when he was going to come now in the flesh, that's when we're going to see, because the only time when we're going to receive something from heaven, we have to know what is it that is from heaven. And you must understand that the word heaven there in the Bible, in the scriptures, it has got various connotations. When he's talking about the, 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 the waters that fell in the days of Noah as coming from heaven, he was not talking about heaven, the dwelling place of God. He was talking about heaven, the firmament. That's why I said, if you are at the window, you have access to the firmament, the spiritual environment. Heaven represents the spiritual environment. The earth represents the physical environment. Yes. Whenever earth receives something from heaven, the windows of heaven must be opened. Yes. So that's why I said, being at the window, you are at a spiritual uh, environment. You see things with a spiritual perspective. Most people don't understand that the devil is more spiritual than, than people themselves. <laughs> mm. And by more spiritual, he knows that it is the word that, is, that brings life. It is the word that is spiritual. That's why the devil, when he comes, he comes using the word. And, and that, that's where he gets his victories from. Uh, if we were to look, uh, I, I just enjoyed this one, Pastor, in, in Judges, the lamentation of the mother here. Uh, in verse number 28, 20, 28, yes, you may read. The mother of Sisera looked out at a window and cried through the lattice. Why is his chariot so long in coming? Why is the chariot so long in coming? Why tarry the wheels of his chariots? Yes. A wise lady answered her, 
Yeah, she returned answer to herself. Uh -huh. Have they not spared? Have they not divided the prey? Have they not divided the prey? Yes. To every man a damsel or two? Mm -hmm. To Cicera a, a prey of diverse colors? Mm -hmm. A prey of diverse colors of needlework? Of diverse colors of needlework on both sides? Meet for the necks of them that take the spoil. So, so let all thine enemies perish, O Lord. So, I wanted to bring out the fact that the, this victory, the victory of Sisera, had always been dependent on the, on the ignorance that, or in the, because it's about sin, uh, and God wanted really a sacrifice that he would accept for for, for the sins of, of, the, the of the world so that mankind could be delivered. Yes. The damsel to be delivered from Sisera. Yes. And as long as there is no sacrifice yes. given, the, the damsel who will forever be in the hands of Sisera. Yes. They will be actually there to be defeated every time the battle is on. So, so, and that victory for Sisera is given by God. It's something that is given to him because there is nothing in the hands of these people who wants to be delivered to really present to God, I have this, so Lord, you can deliver me. Yes. They are praying, yes. So it's, it's, it answers in Vangeli what I was sharing in from um, in Malachi chapter 3, mm. verse 1. Because what people needed was a blessing. Yes. And for that blessing to come, there was need of an offering. Yes. So in the book of Malachi, it seems as if the people were going to give uh, something to God themselves, mm. Mm. Uh, after which they were going to receive a blessing from the Lord, mm. which scripture is manipulated by the false preacher. But what we see in 10, it is a prophecy of the suffering of Christ. Yes. So when we see one uh, being given to the Lord, we see now the, the begotten son. Mm. Because God gave people the law mm. Mm. as represented by ten. So out of every ten, give one. And what is that one that God was waiting for? Yes. For him to pour a blessing. Mm. He was waiting for the begotten son. Yes. Because we see that blessing now representing the gospel. We see that blessing now representing the word of God. Mm. And when mm. we see that blessing representing the gospel, we see that the gospel was not going to come only after the begotten son, only after Christ has risen from the dead. Yes. That's when we're going to see the pouring in of the blessing. Mm. We're going to see the, 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 the windows of heaven being opened. So that if the windows of heaven are open, we have access mm. to the blessing that, that is coming from above. Yes. So the windows are talking about access. So when the mother of Sisera was sitting at the window, it was talking about a place where you can see, where I can observe, where I can ask questions. So many questions that people should ask. What happened to Sisera is a very important question that needs to be asked or that requires an urgent answer, an urgent response to. So I was just highlighting the mystery of the window. Yes. It gives you access. If you are inside the house, you want to see what is happening from outside. Yes. You, 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 you go through the window. That's why if you go to the book of 2 Samuel chapter 6, you see what happened to to Michal, the daughter of Saul. She actually despised David from the window. If you go to the book of 2 Kings, chapter 9, from verse 30, you see a, a Jehu. When Jezebel wanted to look at the to see the coming in of Jehu to his to, to, to that place where we see um, Jehoram and Ahaziah being defeated by Jehu. She was actually looking out at a window. So it's always about the window, mm -hmm. having access to what is happening. 
it's, it's, it's a position where you can see, where you interact with the, the issues of the firmament. Yes. When you're at the window, you see the firmament. You see what is outside. You interact with the firmament. So you must be at the window. So when the mother of Cicera was at the window, that's when the mother of Cicera asked these questions. What happened to Cicera's chariot? What happened to the wheels of his chariot? Mm. So I was talking about heresy, and you also have to take note of the wheels of his chariot. The wheels are those which drives which makes the chariot to move. In other words, if you want to trace that Cicera have moved, or that the chariot of Cicera have passed through a certain place, mm. you see the marks from the, from the wheels. Yes. Yes. You can tell mm -hmm. Cicera's chariot was, was cruising here mm -hmm. some few minutes ago. How do you tell? You, you, you look at the wheels. So Cicera depended on his chariot's wheels. So I identified the chariot of Cicera as carrying the heresy, the lies, the, merit, the, 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 the falsehood which he used to deceive many kind. So that many kind are going to be separated from God, many kind are going to be in their sins. He started this uh, program or this project with Adam in the, in the Garden of Eden. That's where he started this project. And from Adam up to the cross, Cicera's chariot and the wheels were cruising. So these wheels of Cicera, they represent uh, pride and, um, and lust. Yes. It is pride and lust which made uh, the chariots of Cicera to cruise in people's lives. And every time you trace uh, every message that has been preached. <laughs> when you listen to a message that has been preached from a false preacher, you see the marks of pride and, and lust that Cicera is actually cruised in this place. Cicera is in charge. The chariots of Cicera, they are still moving. What is Cicera's chariot carrying? The heresy, the lies, the falsehood. Did God really say, that is the message from, 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 from the serpent. What did you tell us? Akwe yo, se uchu yaka wanda ni sakata oru na mwari. We sanu parzani ma, anda kuya pani sakata oru na mwari. As iya parzani ma. Did God, did God really say? Yes, and they also. They actually cite scriptures in Vangeri. They will quote scriptures yes. which God put in the, in his, in, in his, uh, in his book. For yeah. people to learn about about God. Yes. Yes. And also something that gives speed to the wheels. Yes. Uh, the law, uh, looking at Romans chapter 7, uh, for sin taking occasion by the commandment, yes. deceived me and by it slew me. Um, then verse number 13, 14, but, but sin... Uh, 13 was then that which is good made uh, made death, death unto, unto me. me. Yes. God forbid, but sin that it might appear sin. Yes. Working death in me by that which is which is good. Yes. That sin by the commandment might become exceeding sinful. So sin by the commandment. Yes. Became more sinful, and for we. In verse 14. For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal and sold under sin. So, so the problem is many kind were carnal. And, and because of that, when God gave the law, sin revived. And sin became alive by reason of the law. And that really gave speed to the chariot of Sisera. In that he managed then to kill so many. Because all were guilty. The law only made them guilty before God. Yes. And, and you can also read Romans chapter 5, verse 20 and 21. 
Moreover, the law entered that the offense might abound. So when, when offenses abound, it's a, it's, it's a movement now to the, to the serpent. It's a movement to the devil. He can actually ride upon that because he's being fueled by the reason of sin. Where sin abounds, yes. But where sin abounded, grace did much more abound. But grace also did much abound. But moreover, the law ended that the offense might abound. And when offenses abound, it's a playground for the devil because he will be riding on the law. And that law is the law of sin, which says, if you are under sin, you are under me. Everybody under sin, you are yes. under the devil. You are being, you are being a, a enslaved. Yes. You are in bondage. You are in bondage. Yes. Thank you, Evangelist, for bringing that. Uh, as we are going to see that Cicera and his chariots, uh, for Cicera's project to actually thrive, he needed many kinds. Yes. That's why the serpent had to visit the garden in Genesis chapter 3 to deceive the woman. Because now, men now carry the seed uh, of the serpent yes. in the message that they have believed. The serpent is now having control. People are now being uh, defeated by the serpent. Mm -hmm. So we're talking about the wheels. Uh, those who are going to show us the marks that the serpent have cruised. But what, what we see, we see there... Um, the, the chariots of Sisera succeeding. Mm -hmm. So every time when you see Sisera succeeding, it means there are men who are in bondage. Yes. Men are in bondage of sin. Men, they are, they are having a yoke upon their necks. And what yoke is upon their necks? Is it the yoke of the Lord? No. It is the yoke of Sisera, mm -hmm. the yoke of bondage. So we see Israel under this yoke. We also see the Gentiles under this yoke. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, what, what yoke was the, 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 the Israelites putting on? Was it not the, the yoke of the law? Yes. It was, the, it was the, the yoke of the law. Mm -hmm. So what you want to do, because I'm, I'm almost about to, 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 to get into um, the issues of... Um, the, the time that the chariot has taken so far from the mother of Sisera's perspective uh, on account of what happened and also the wheels. So he was talking about speed in verse number 30 uh, because from this, all, all this while Sisera was driving on speed. He was fast in doing his things. That's why you see Heres is, is, is very quick it's very fast. Yes. The way that he has speed is actually, it's actually speeding. It speeds at a very high uh, 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 level. But before we go there, before we go there, uh, I want the media team to bring, uh, first of all, we want to see the, 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 the image of Jael. Jael, the two images that we have, which are going to show us, uh, just to illustrate what happened. We know we preached about this before, but as we are going to, uh, to, to, to cruise in this teaching, we also must know what happened. So I want the media team to bring those two images of that woman, Jael, actually putting the nails uh, in the temples of, of Sisera, and Cicera being defeated. So we see, you see now, uh, that is the first image where we see Cicera. If you see him asleep like that, he is not someone who is very weak, uh, according to the mother of Cicera. And looking at the illustration which we have there, like I said before, we see a woman, he actually taking charge to actually defeat a man who have got a record, which we are hearing from his uh, 
his mother's testimony. The mother said, the far I know Cicera, he, is not, he was not talking about women being able to fight with Cicera. He was talking about, when he, when he mentioned women, that's when he introduced the damsels. Mm -hmm. He says, what I know about damsels or women is that after defeating the people, Cicera is going to distribute to his men one damsel or two to those whom we are, who were going to accompany him to his fight. And you see the second image where we see now the woman actually have finished to deal with Cicera. You see that cord now in, in Cicera's head. Mm. So these two images is what the mother of Cicera lacked in, 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 in her questions. Had he known, had she known that there is a woman and this woman now a, has a lordly dish with butter, with milk and a hammer and a cords or nails, the mother of Cicera was going to get a, a response. What happened? A woman. What happened for a woman to be able to actually put those, uh, that cord through the temples of the head of Cicera? So that's what we see now from those images. So the answer that the mother of Cicera uh, expects is not the answer that we are going to be teaching today. The correct response to the mother of Cicera is the reason why Cicera is not yet back as he usually does. The reason why you haven't seen the damsels that Cicera was going to take captive. The reason why Cicera is not going to come with a, with a cloth of, of needlework of diverse colors. The reason why you are not going to see upon the necks of those who are going to with Cicera after uh, uh, sharing the spoil. It is because just the same way the serpent defeated the woman in the garden. This time, the Lord wants that testimony to be changed. The Cicera has fallen in the hands of a woman. That is the answer. But it's not the, uh, uh, the full details of what the mother of Cicera needs. Why? Was we still have some why, 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 why? Mm -hmm. the, 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 the why is that the mother of Cicera have is what happened to his chariot? What happened to the wheels of his chariot? What happened to the spoil that he usually brings in? But we also, in answering the mother of Cicera's questions, we are also going to be having why. We are going to, uh, to have a response like Jael, a woman, a New Testament believer has destroyed Cicera. But that, that's not going to be true. That is not going to be enough. The question is why did the woman manage to defeat Cicera? The answer is Barak <laughs> discomfited Cicera from his chariot. And that is not going to be enough. The second question is going to be why? How did uh, uh, Barak manage to do that? Yes. And the answer is going to be Deborah <laughs> sent Barak out of his love, out of God's love. Yes. God sent his son. So the mother of Cicera is giving us a picture that according to Cicera's history, according to Cicera's life, it is not possible, it was not going to be possible for a woman to defeat Cicera. Yes. It was not going to be so. But that's what happened, which poses a lot of questions to that. So, this is what happened. This is what people should have answered the mother of Cicera. Cicera is not yet back because a woman defeated Cicera. The coming back of Cicera, from the mother of Cicera's perspective, it shows victory. Yes. 
the coming back of Sisera, we are going to see two or more damsels in Israel being given to the men of Sisera. Every time Sisera goes to war, damsels in Israel were going to be a, a court, a captive. But let us talk about um, the chariot of Sisera and the wheels. And I want the media team to bring the images that I want to show you, which is going to demonstrate how Sisera was succeeding all this while. And when Sisera was uh, taking damsels captive in Israel, I want you to know that he was using other men, other men who were going to accompany him in this business, in this war. He was not going to go alone. He needed men. Aisha and Savanu, Kunokunda Israel. Vanu, I was working on Kunokunda Israel. He needed men because he thrives on the message that he's going to preach. So he was going to have men who are going to accompany him. But these men who are accompanying Sisera, they represent two things. At first, you are going to see them representing uh, how we used to be ourselves. Because that's why we read those scriptures in Ephesians chapter 2, Colossians chapter 3, and Romans chapter 6 which was talking about some time past, which means some time past, the Gentiles and the Jews, they were under the yoke of Sisera. At some time. Most of you, you participated to, actually, uh, 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 support the movement of this Sisera's chariot in one way or the other. Some you were preaching, some you contributed by giving your resources. Some you contributed by uh, being deacons and elders in this shrine. At some point, you used to be under bondage of Sisera. But what was the yoke that was upon your neck? To the Jews, we see the law of Moses that was put on them. You see now, I hope you are going to see from those images, Sisera being in charge. Where is he going? He is going to destroy. He is going to cause havoc to, to Israel. And what do we see? We see his horses. We see his chariot. We see the wheels moving. We see him cruising. Evil abounding. Seeing offenses which Evangelist Mafolo was showing us. Increasing from time of Adam up to the time of the cross. Why do we see the horse, the two horses which Sisera is going to uh, put under a yoke? We see the, the Jews, they were also under the yoke of Sisera. Even when they were observing the law, we see the Gentiles, they were under the yoke of Sisera through idolatry. And Paul concluded in Romans chapter 3 that in verse number 9, that I, I make this conclusion, that all uh, are under sin. Verse number 9 in Romans chapter 3, what then, are we better than they? He was making a comparison between the Gentiles and the Jews. No. No. In, in no wise. Why? For we have before proved both Jews and Gentiles that they are all under sin. We have proved that both, both Jews and Gentiles, they are under sin. Is something that we have proved. So I believe that we have seen. 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 We So, Sisera was cruising. If you say we are under the law, like what evangelist was saying, there was no sacrifice which was offered under the law, which was going to deliver Israel out of sin. Yeah. Go and read Hebrews chapter 10 from verse number 1. You are going to see whatever the law offered, Israel was never made perfect on account of those sacrifices. So it doesn't matter. The conclusion is the same. We are all under Sisera. We are all under sin. Tangataka Batwa, Nasisera Tripaspes, you see. 
in in Acts chapter 15, uh, we know what happened at the council uh, in Jerusalem. And when the apostles were addressing now, what should be done to the Gentiles? Should we command the Gentiles to follow the law? And uh, from verse number 9, he says, And put no difference between us and them. You must not put any difference between the Jews and the Gentiles. Purifying their hearts by faith. It is faith that purifies the heart. Now therefore, why tempt ye God? Why are you tempting God now? To put a yoke upon the neck of the dis disciples. Why are you putting a yoke upon the neck of disciples? Which neither our fathers nor we were able to bear. You see now. So that's why I said, if you look at that image again, you see the yoke upon um, the, the two horses. You see the yoke upon the two horses, but there we see uh, those uh, harnesses. But the picture that is drawn there is Munuesa Kabopka. Hapanangas Nabopka. Kuai Denwanga Bopka. Kuma Juda Anga Bop. Munuese Angar Paspechi. Munuese I Guadamaguna Cicera. Munuese I Seva Cicera. So those two horses there. They are being controlled. You see how what Cicero was doing with his chariots. He determined where his chariot goes. Yes. So the horses, they are actually put there. And there's another image which I wanted to show you how this victory of Cicero started, which we have also shown you from what we have preached. We see there the, the one horse which is representing the first man, the first Adam. So this is how Sisera started to reign. Pano ndi Sisera ano kunda hondo, ana ungo tanga ngo zizira, waka tangira mu garden of Eden. So that's how he brought sin. When the first man sinned, Sisera started to reign. From that time that Sisera started to reign to the time of the cross, there was no testimony that Sisera was defeated. So the mother of Sisera was surprised. Yes. What happened? Tell me. What happened to the to the last of the eyes? What happened to the last of the flesh? What happened to the pride of life? What happened? I know that even those who were under the law, they never defeated the last of the eyes and the last of the flesh and the pride of life. The Gentiles who were worshipping idols, they never defeated the last of the eyes and the last of the flesh and the pride of life. What happened to the, the wheels of his chariot? What happened? What happened to the speed? So because of the speed of the chariot of Sisera, what it means, evangelist, my fallen brethren, man, it means that if Barak, if Barak, had to defeat Sisera. It means he was going to introduce a system which is going to be more quick mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. than the system of Sisera. Yes. But let us go to the book of Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 19. And let's read from verse number one. Let's see, because we see a woman now defeating Sisera, which is going to be indicating us believers in the New Testament, overcoming the devil. Through what? Through the message, the form of doctrine, which is the milk that is in a, in a lordly dish. But how was it going to happen? What system was the Lord going to use to actually bring victory over his people? Yes. The burden of Egypt. Yes. Behold, the Lord rides upon a swift cloud. Yes. And shall come into Egypt. Yes. And the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence. Yes. And the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. You see now. So this is the prophecy <laughs> which Isaiah was showing concerning the burden of Egypt. Mm -hmm. For God to defeat Egypt, which also represents when we look at Egypt where Israel was in bondage. Remember, Israel was in bondage during the time when Moses was then called to become the testator to lead them out of Egypt. Mm -hmm. So Egypt also, it represents a, a world, a time, a dispensation 
when people are in idolatry, when people are still in their sins. What was the solution which the Lord was going to use to overcome Egypt? And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. Yes. And they shall fight everyone against his brother. Yes. And everyone against his neighbor. Yes. City against city. Yes. And kingdom against kingdom. You see now, but when we read verse number two, what we see in verse number one, we see the Lord riding upon a swift cloud. The word swift there, it is talking about the speed mm -hmm. that is going to, to be also included. That's why when we read uh, scriptures like Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12, it talks about the word of God is quick mm -hmm. and powerful. Why is he introducing the word of God which is quick and powerful? It is because when the Lord wants to defeat Egypt, he is going to be riding upon a swift cloud. So in Hebrews chapter, in Hebrews chapter 12, verse number 2, he talks about the, um, it's actually Romans chapter 12. Romans chapter 12. Let's look at Romans chapter 12. Um, what does it say? Be not and be not conformed to this world. Yes. But be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Why? That you may prove what is that good and acceptable. Yes. And perfect will of God. You see. So you must not be conformed to the world. Yeah. But we must be transformed by the renewing of the mind. So all this that we see now from Romans chapter 12. When we see the transformation of, of the mind, when we see the perfect will of God, we can only find the perfect will of God when the word of God is now preached unto us. Yes. How do we know the will of God? We have to listen. We have to hear the form of doctrine. We have to listen to the gospel. Do kuchati chinja. Hakuna shimo kuchati chinja. Yes. So I don't know that way we are going No. When our minds are now being renewed, it is the gospel that can renew our mind. Mm. By that now, we now know what is acceptable, what is perfect will of God. The man was chased out of the garden mm. because he... He, he, he did what was unacceptable before the Lord. Mm. For us to be accepted by God, we have to know, we have to prove, we have to understand what is the will of God, what is that which is acceptable, what is that which is perfect. But Hebrews chapter 12 from Vangeri, it talks about the cloud of witness. So I was talking about the, the, the cloud, the swift cloud, which, which God was going to ride upon. The swift cloud. Yes. The cloud has to be swift. And what is that cloud which the Lord is riding upon? That cloud is representing the ministers of the gospel. The only time when Egypt is going to be defeated, Egypt is going to be defeated by the Lord himself. How is the Lord himself going to defeat Egypt? He's going to be riding upon a swift cloud. Mwari achangari, aga garapa msolo pe gore, rino manya kwazo, rino kurumi za kwazo. So, Hebrews chapter 12 says, Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with yes. so great a cloud of witness, what should we do? Let us lay aside every weight, yes. and the sin which doth easily beset us. Yes. Let us run with patience the rest that is set before us. You see now, so, you cannot just start to lay aside the weight. No. What he first mentions first is what is important. Mm. The cloud of witnesses. Yes. Which means for you to be able to lay aside every weight, which is now the victory over Sisera, for you to be able to lay aside the sin which doth easily beset us, it means you are now having victory over Sisera. Yes. So that you may run the rest with patience. What should happen first? 
the uh, cloud of witnesses. Yes. You need the cloud of witnesses. The Lord shall come riding upon a swift cloud. <laughs> yes. And because the Lord is riding upon a swift cloud, you are going to see Israel, Egypt being defeated. Yes. Hakuna muna no gona kunde Egypt kusika isheva mene va gara pam solo pe gore. Do pe gapam chaona e ichikundwa e e Egypt. Yes, and Paul and Peter says in Acts chapter 10:39, we are witnesses of all these things. You see, which he did both in the land of the Jews and in Jerusalem. A preacher is a witness. Yes, a witness, a cloud. Yeah, cloud. So, can I sing a little more? Saka ocha kunda zey. You need the cloud. The, it's not the cloud that is defeating. The, the, defeating Egypt. Mm. That's why I said, if you are not careful, you are going to say, Jael defeated Sisera. It's mm. not true. If what happens in, in, with Jael is a manifestation of what uh, Deborah and Barak did to Sisera. Yes. What Jael is just doing is a manifestation that the love of God, which gave us his begotten son, that message that God gave us his begotten son has actually reached us. Mm. Now we are laying aside every weight. Now we are laying aside every sin that can beset us. It was not possible. So we need the Lord to ride upon, upon the, the cloud. Yes. gore, testimony gore, as you say, so. no, it is the Lord who was riding upon a cloud. The Lord rode upon a cloud, a swift cloud, and shall come into Egypt, and the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence, not at the cloud's presence, but at his presence, and the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. So when you see idolatry being defeated, it is the Lord. When you saw Apostle Chwenga, which was the swift cloud standing at First Street to expose idolatry in, 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 in traditions and customs of African religions, exposing idolatry through observing the law of Moses, when you heard that message, it was the Lord himself at his presence, the idols of Egypt moved. The heart of Egypt actually melt. But for the Lord to come, <laughs> he had to ride upon a swift cloud. Yeah. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 30. Isaiah chapter 30. And let's see. What he ha what what he said. Um, first read verse number verse number one. Woe, Isaiah chapter thirty. Woe to the rebellious children, says the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me. They take counsel, but, but that the counsel they are taking, they are not taking counsel of me. And that cover with a covering, yes, but not of my spirit. When they talk about the covering, their covering is not my spirit. That they may add sin to sin. So the reason why they are not taking counsel of God, which means if they are taking counsel, but they are, the counsel they are taking is not of God. If they have a covering, but if the covering they have is not God's spirit, what it means is they are going to simply add sin. To sin. sin. Yeah. <laughs> mm, <yes. laughs> so those who were at Easter, they were taking counsel. But wh whose counsel were they taking? Those at Makandua's shrine, they are taking counsel. The question is, whose counsel are they taking? We hear some saying, we are under the covering of the men of God. If their covering is the covering of the men of God, it simply means 
it is not the covering of the Spirit of God. When God covers you, his cover is not a man of God. Your covering should be God's Spirit. Those who have received God's Spirit, they have a covering. So if they come to you and say, do you have a covering? You say, yes, I have a covering. I am under the covering. They say, who is your father? They say, my covering is the Spirit of God. Yes. When I receive the Spirit of God, mm-hmm. I receive the covering. Yes. So what is going to happen to those who are going to take counsel, which is not of God? Take note of that. If the counsel is not of God, whose counsel it is? If the message is not the message of God, whose message it is? Is it not the force who is in the lies of the serpent? So in that way, you become rebellious children. You add sin to sin. Yes. But what if you take the counsel of God? What if you have the covering of God? What happens to sin? <laughs> you go to uh, Romans chapter 6, verse 16, where we've read, going downward. You are no longer servants of sin. You are now servants of righteousness. Which means the message is not to add sin unto sin. But now we see from one level of glory to the other. From righteousness to another level of righteousness. The word righteous, it means uh, uh, having your sins being covered or forgiven. You see, but when we go to verse 15 now, what does he say? Isaiah chapter 30, verse 15. For thus says the Lord yes. God, the Holy One of Israel, Yes. in returning and rest shall ye be saved. So those who are going to return, those who are going to find rest, you are going to be uh, saved. Yes. yes. In quietness and in confidence shall, yes. ye, shall be your strength. Yes. And you would not... So this is the message that I am giving you. Come, return to me mm-hmm. and find rest. This rest you are going to find is not in, 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 in noise and, and earthquakes and so forth. No. Remember what happened in Mount Sinai when Moses received the law. There was, there was noise and, quake, and, 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 and earthquake. But the Lord is saying, those who are going to be saved, they are not going to be saved in noise. No. They are going to be saved in quietness and, yes. in, and in confidence shall be your strength. And Israel rejected. Verse 16. But you said, no. Yes. For we will flee upon horses. We will rely on the horses. We are going to flee upon horses. Therefore shall ye flee. So go and flee upon horses. And we will ride upon the swift. We will ride upon the swift. Therefore they shall pursue you. They shall pursue you. Be swift. Those who are going to pursue you. They shall be swift as well. Mm -hmm. So. When Israel rejected the counsel of God, it depended on one who was going to be swift. Mm. For them to run away from the Lord, they needed something which was swift to take away uh, them from the Lord. But the Lord to recover them, because it is only when they return to the Lord, it is only when they find rest from the Lord, in quietness and in confidence. So what was the Lord going to do? Israel ran away upon swift horses. Israel ran, ran away upon a, a, some, something which was swift. God wanted to recover them. He introduced also something which is swift. But let's go to the book of Micah. Micah chapter 1, verse number 13, and show you that which is swift, which is taking people away from the Lord. The daughter of Zion has been deceived by one who is swift. Yes. O thou inhabitant of Lachish, yes. bind the chariot of the swift beast. Bind she, the chariot to the swift beast. beast. She is the beginning of the sin to the daughter of the Zion. The swift beast is the beginning of the sin to the daughter of Zion. For the transgressions of Israel were found in thee. For the transgressions of Israel 
were found in thee. For so there is introduced the swift beast. Bind the chariot to the swift beast. <laughs> she is the beginning of the sin to the daughter of Zion. For the transgression of Israel we found in thee. So it is talking about the swiftness. So the devil, Sisera's chariots, they were swift. They were swift. Look at how you were deceived. Very swift. So that's why the mother of Sisera was wondering. The far I know of the chariot of Sisera, the chariot of Sisera are, 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 are on high speed. He cannot take time. Makundu wa ati atu anichivi. Makundu wa ati atu aniruchiva. Ruchiva rongo wa singatuli time. Two seconds. You are already in adultery. Two seconds you are in fornication. Two seconds. You are already a medara. You are a thief. In a shortest possible time. Si Sarah was not having any problems to defeat the people of Israel, on account of his speed. But what happened in this particular day? A woman defeated Sisera. Yes. A woman defeated Sisera. My wife Sisera was It has never happened. It has never happened. <laughs> it has never happened. <laughs> so the damsels which were possessed by Sisera, see men, on another dimension, it represents uh, the, 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 the damsels of Israel who were possessed with evil spirit, possessed with the demons, married to the army of Sisera. It means you are no longer in charge now. You are going to relocate from Israel to Sisera's place which means you are no longer in the kingdom of God. You are now in the kingdom of darkness. Yeah. So damsels of Israel were going to be um, taken captive, oh. possessed. The word possessed means someone is controlling you. Whatever you are doing is not by your choice. Mm -hmm. Who was controlling you? Sisera's soldiers. Who are, this? Who are Sisera's soldiers? When the old serpent was cast down from, from heaven, he fell with a third of the stars, representing the demons that Sisera had. In all his victories, he always cruised with his army, with those who supported him. Yes. And after defeating, the sign that you are defeated is we are going to see damsels in Israel being carried captive by Sisera's army. Madimoni, I tell you, Anoda, I pin up Anoda. She said, "I should go there as Anoda." Damsels in Israel, they were in trouble yes. on account of Sisera. and this has been happening throughout from the time of when Adam and his uh, wife fell in the garden up to the cross. So what the mother of Sisera is asking, is asking of what happened. Chicha itika. Munta wala watukune wano wakukunda kuchiwa kwe nyama. Munta wala watukune wano wakukunda kuchiwa kwa maziso. Munta wala watukune wano wakukunda kuzikuza kwa upenyo. Chicha inyatu itika. Nita orire. Nita orire za kanani. Panda kuzika mweva. Chanyatu itika chi. Do we have people in our midst <laughs> who no longer succumb to the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life? Do we have such people? If we do have such people, they are the giles, the giles that we are talking about. It means they've received the form of doctrine. They've received milk in a lordly dish. But it's not about the milk in a lordly dish. It's about what happened for there to be milk. 
What happened for there to be a lordly dish? What happened for there to be a gospel in the New Testament? But the first question is, is it really true that, that Sisera has died? Is it really true? This is the mother of Sisera's question. He is testifying. There is no way, there is no means, it has never happened. The chariots of Sisera have never been stopped. So when we are now in the New Testament, we say our sins are forgiven. We now live a righteous life. We are no longer in bondage of sin. We are living in obedience to the word of God. What happened? Is it not because you received the covering, which is the spirit of God? Mm -hmm. Is it not because you have received the counsel of God, which is in his word? So it's always about these two. They go hand in hand. You cannot have the counsel of God without the Spirit of God. When you see the covering coming, it means you have also received the counsel. The counsel and the covering, they are the ones which gives victory to Sisera. But how did you receive the Spirit of God is the equation which needs to be solved. The answer to the mother of Sisera is the people of Israel, they have now received the counsel of God. The people of Israel, they now have the covering of God, which is his spirit. Yes. That's the answer to your questions. But how did they receive the spirit? How did they receive the counsel? Is it not on account of the suffering of Christ on the cross? Mm. It's because of Barak that we, the Giles, we cannot defeat Sisera. So, this is what happened. This is what happened. So, how swift Sisera is in your life? Is Sisera still swift? Kuna wanu wala kutu sisera achine, achine speed na nasa. Kuchine wanu wala kutu machari wata sisera achine kuneta na nasa. Why do we have these testimonies in Ziklag, in the New Testament, which are contrary to what the mother of sisera is telling us? The mother of sisera is saying, the chariots of sisera no, don't, don't take time. Yes. But today, something happened. Sisera is not back. The wheels of Sisera's chariots are very speedy. Mm. But today, Sisera is not yet back. Mm. The damsels of Israel, they are always here. Yes. <laughs> because Sisera is always victorious, bringing damsels. Mm -hmm. But there's no damsel that I've seen so far. Mm. What happened to the damsels? Why are you still being taken? by the armies of Sisera in this dispensation when Sisera was discomfited from his chariot. Why? The answer is, you are not taking the counsel yes. of God. Mm -hmm. Why is sin, why you are moving from one sin to the other, adding sin to sin? That's what Isaiah said in Isaiah chapter, chapter, chapter 30. Mm -hmm. They are adding sin to sin because there is no counsel of God. They actually rejected my counsel. And they, they, they took another man's counsel. Mm -hmm. They rejected my covering. And that's why they are moving. Their life is getting worse and worse. Sisera is dominating. Do you have the right covering? Do you have the, the, the true counsel? Have you taken the counsel of God? which evangelist my followers teaching us in the morning, obeying the form of doctrine. That is the counsel of God. So that we defeat, Sisera is defeated. But let's go to the need way. And I want the media team to bring the definition of the need work. It's, it's, it's not something complicated about the need work. The need work. <laughs> 
Yes, work done with a need to. You see, work such as embroidery, other than plain sewing, sewing, the occupation of one who does need to work. So, why is the Bible telling us about the, 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 the materials they need to work, which yes, Cicera was bringing all this while? So this, this garment or these garments that Cicera was bringing, it is talking about uh, the glory in courts that people gave to Cicera. Kukuzwa kwa itwa Cicera nguwa izozo. Nema zwa ewa ayo. The, 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 the cunning work that exalted Cicera, that gave credit to Cicera. During that time, when Cicera was in charge, when you saw Cicera, when you looked at him, he had diverse colors of need to work. Something that is well crafted, something that is well designed, That is the attire that you would see Cicera with. And where was he getting this uh, need work of diverse colors? From the prey. Were we not the prey <laughs> during that time? Wow. Sometime, in time past, were we not Cicera's prey? We were. Did we not give Cicera diverse colors of need work? Did you not give him? I did. So, that's what Cicera used to enjoy. We were talking uh, during the break with, with, with just discussing about the word of God. If you look at how crafted the songs that despise God and give credit to Cicera, how they are crafted, there is a, a lot of art and skill. There is some need to work. Pano kusuonua kuna unyanzi kwa kaitu wanziyo ziruki mugane vanu wachitu ruki mbira mwari asa wachimbira sisera. It happened. Pano masongi ze kutipa gomba shwa kupari kwa so. Masongi ze waya kapera after Barak discomfited uh, sisera. The songs ended after Jael defeated Sisera, mm. when the Lord rode on a swift cloud and the gospel came, when the Lord opened his mouth through his vessels, that's when we get shocked. Some songs which we used to enjoy, yes. well crafted and well designed, mm. that's the need to work of Sisera, which Sisera used to enjoy. We used to sing those songs, brethren, well crafted, well, well played, nice music. Tichi chema kuda yoso. Tichi lumi zasisera. Sisera zoka kuno kuno tukunda. Yes. Well crafted songs. Huh? Toku tuka na wizu zuka tera usina uchange era. Usina shukura mwa raga zara. Uno kuna uchema. Tichi lumi zasisera. So this is why when the devil was, it took him time. And we, during that time when we still pray to Cicera, mm. we used to sing those songs. That is the attire that you see Cicera. Instead of us actually going against Cicera, we used to surrender to him the work, the perfect work of needlework, of diverse colors, <laughs> hey, brother and Mary. Yes. Diverse ah, yeah. colors hey. in so many languages. Mm. Songs were sung. So many ways. Mm -hmm. People singing to praise the Sisera. Vachins were going to be the one. One, as well, could the Sisera. Yes. There were songs which actually, instead of exalting the glory of, of the Lord, they actually exalted the Sisera. Yes. The devil, the Antichrist. Oh, 
I was listening this other time to, I think it's Take Shua's song, mm. which says, Sangana e, e, Sangana is ne sumari, but no nyengetera. Mm-hmm. If you're not careful, you, <laughs> you, you, you fall to the ground and you, 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 with your tears in your eyes, you say, Lord, meet with us. Come to us when we pray. Yeah. <laughs> what a heresy. So when Sisera hears those, those songs, he says, it's a need to work. Yeah. That's what the mother of Sisera knows. Mm-hmm. I know my, 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 my son coming, putting on a diverse colors of need to work from yes. Israel. Diverse colors of need to work. Think about the songs. So many of them. Yes. When was the time when those songs ended in, in the true nation of Israel? Was it not after the true gospel came? Yes. When it was preached now, you started to say, ah, this was need to work. That was given to Caesar. Mm-hmm. Yeah? We were pray at that particular time. Mm-hmm. That's why we used to sing those songs. We used to sing those songs. Yes. So many hymns that we used to sing in FM, mm-hmm. which undermined Christ mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. elevated the devil. Yes. <laughs> when, we, when we used to talk about the Holy Spirit, we, used to, we, 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 we were not talking about the Holy Spirit in, 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 in reverence to Him. No. We were talking to the Holy Spirit as a what do they call an errand, an errand boy? Say, Holy Spirit, come do around. this yes. so that we can achieve whatever we wanted want to achieve. Mm. The Spirit of God. Taitamba naso. Pangua yese yoyo. Yakanga yere micheke yaka yeso naka. Enda kwa juda, ono wana micheke yaka pasisera. Manakira yaka ita. Chenda kwa yedeni, ono wana micheke yaka pasisera. Manakira yaka ita. And see how crafted, how de- well designed the embroidery which Sisera was coming from each and every prey, putting on. And and the Micheka younger is in the Pivica, younger is in the Guanu. Yes, Nes, Coman, you know, in the West Sisera, I want to know one. Vakomana wenzi mimi chitoraima damsel. Chitoraima damsel. Eh. Molo aita osa muneta nao. Asana yangu yekurumbidzwa kwangu. Kana yangu yekuna matwa kwangu. Ye kwangu. Yes. Eh. Ye kwangu. Everyone was singing during that time. Before Sisera was discomfited. Before Sisera was defeated. Every song no matter what song you may think of. Mm. It was directed to give credit to Sisera. He said, "You could Sisera wa kuru, zio zaja imba, kukuzwa kwa Sisera." Talk about the doctrine. Mm. Let's talk about the doctrine. Yes. Look at how well crafted is the Seventh Day Adventist heresy. Mm. Mm. How yes. Ellen White. <laughs> Took the needles. Was mm. the son of America. This is a It's not something that came from the Lord. It's the work of need work. Yes. Well designed. Well crafted. Beautiful embroidery. That doctrine. And all the seventh day Adventists, they they thronged to that shrine. Whatever they were doing. Sisera was celebrating. Sisera was in charge. Craft the needlework. Mm-hmm. Tell them that the seventh day rest has not ended. I saw light on the uh, uh, on the Ten Commandments, but light was brighter on the on the law of the That's Sabbath. Right. Mm-hmm. That's what I saw, and the the way it was crafted mm-hmm. by then before. Sisera was discomfited by, by, by Barak. Mm-hmm. We used to be part of the prey. Most of us now, 
whom we have today celebrating, mm -hmm. to say on account of Barak, on account of Christ, that's why I'm here. Mm -hmm. You used to be surrendering the embroidery to, to Cicero. Yes. Well-crafted doctrine. Mm -hmm. You read books and you get carried away. People explaining how their doctrine was founded. Even if they tell you that mm. uh, Charles Russell is the founder of Jehovah's, you will not question. Mm -hmm. Remember, I was talking about the window. You will yes. not question. Yes. You, you, you will not say, why is he a founder? It means <laughs> once you hear about a founder, <laughs> you, are, you, are, you are listening about need to work. Yes. Whenever you hear about a founder, yes. it's need to work. Yes. Musona needs wa. Mm. We doctrine. Musonani is what we say. They were sincere. Yes. But then the battle is. Yes. Yes. Saka zoda. Yes. Jova. Yes. Saka da. Saka. Saka bina. Saka da. Saka. When we say kuna Jova, saka wanu akafa. Basato rova. Saka isu isu samja ita kucha. Muda mchitora ma epo. Mitenge chibereka. Pamaswa wanu ajafi. They give you pictures and photos. Of nice and big apples and bananas. Yes. They say this is going to happen, and when you see that they they quote scriptures, if you read their books, after every heresy, they quote ten or more scriptures. Yes. They change the scriptures. They write their own Bible. They give to you, but you ask a question: When 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 was this doctrine started? They will give you a year, nineteen chakadaro. 1904, 1935. Say, if it started in 1935, mm -hmm. then it's need to work. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yes. It is need to work. Musona needs work. Musona I'm not looking for need to work. I'm not going to give Cicera any need to work. Yes. I'm not going to do that. I now have the covering of the Spirit of God. Once you tell me the year in which your shrine was founded, then it's a need work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then people are going to say, but what about you? You were doing anniversary of uh, Jesus Revelation Ministries. <laughs> we made it clear. Mm -hmm. This is not, the, the Church of Christ was not founded in 2014. The Church of Christ was founded on the cross. Yes. <laughs> which, which, which there is no year attached to that. Because you must know that the times started to be counted from that time. After, the, after Christ rose from the dead. Maswa waka tanga kuwele ingwa. Muswa waka roe wawo yo. Apana gora wano nita orira. Na asi kuti. Christ waka roe wawo gora kati. That is the time marker. When Christ died on the cross is the time marker. Can I mark so she nineteen Jagada? This remind your mind. Musona needs work. Musona needs work. This is need work. This is not the cancer of God. This is need work for Cicera. Oh, Aga Kumba Cicera, my Jassi. Aga Son one one. So many doctrines of men. Yes. Well crafted. That's why Apostle said. These are cunningly devised fables. Mm -hmm. Cunning. There's cunningness. Go and listen to those who preach the, uh, the law of tithe. Those who say people should bring the law of tithe. If they are not cunning, why are they not opening scriptures like Deuteronomy chapter 14? Uh -huh. There's cunningness. They know that you don't read the word of God yourself. Mm -hmm. You don't even know those scriptures. When you show them that tithe, even in that time, in that dispensation, it was something which was eaten by the one who paid that tithe. You will never hear one false preacher opening that scripture. What they do is they have what is called cunningly devised fables. Do you know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm Ono muruma kabata zono. Kwa mwona zote, Melchizedek, the, the title was given to Melchizedek. Where, where are you going to get Melchizedek? 
Melchizedek is now in his church. I am now the preacher, so you bring tithe to me. And when you listen to that doctrine, because you are ignorant of the counsel of God, you are going to give the need to work to Sisera. When you give your tithe on account of a fabrication of cunningly devised fables of the Jews, <laughs> that, was, that was the language which the apostle used to describe those who were preaching the law in the New Testament dispensation. I ate my fables. Apana, in, in Titus chapter 1, verse 14, he says, not giving heed to Jewish fables and commandments of men that turn from the truth. He was describing uh, the law uh, of Moses there. Fables, Gano. Mm -hmm. But Zagaita say, Zagaita kurukwa. Zagaita kusona nizgwa. Mpata nizgwa. Wengano. Yes. Ah, wanu bata sono wakuma na Zuno gazi wane wani isu. Zuno zaka sono wa isu. Zuno zamuru kuchema na azo isu. Zio zamuru kumburu ka pasina azo. Musona nizgwa. Waka sono wane wani. Fables cunningly devised. You see? So, that's what they do. That's what they do. Mm -hmm. So, why is Cicera putting on diverse colors? Eh? Diverse colors. I'm going to put that. Here is. I'm going to put that. I'm going to put that. If you go on the internet, you will see need to work for Cicera. <laughs> At mm -hmm. the end of the day, those doctrines, they make you give surrender or credit to Cicera. It's a sign that Cicera, you are still in charge. Cicera, your, 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 your chariots, they are still swift. They are still strong to us. We cannot deal with you. You are powerful. It's a sign of surrendering to the devil. If you read Second Peter chapter one, verse number, um, verse number sixteen, he says, "What? For we have not followed cunningly devised fables when we made known unto you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ." Yes, but we eyewitnesses of His Majesty. We were, white, we were eyewitnesses of His Majesty. Mm -hmm. We are not preachers of cunningly devised fables. No. We are preaching unto you the power and the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. That's what we preach. So, when we talk about cunningly devised fables, we are talking about the embroidery. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we change it. We change it. My doctrine is not. Mm. Instead of you receiving the doctrine of Christ, you are receiving the doctrine and traditions and the commandments of men. Mm. So for you to give credit or glory to Christ, it is on account of you having received, first of all, the gospel of Christ. Hakuna muna noku zamari kana iya sata gamchira vangiri ramari. Asite. Taito tito sumu zama woko kudai. Tiri kumashirayi. Mm -hmm. Chino kukuza imu hari. Ndo mashuku kwa taito taora. Kwa taito kumashirayi. We exalt your name. We magnify your name. We glorify your name. Eh. And by that time, which name are you glorifying? You cannot glorify a name which you do not know. Yes. You first have to know the name to receive the name. Yes. So when the Lord came in John chapter 15, he said, I manifested thy name unto the people that you gave me. But he, he, he continues to say, I gave them your, the words that you given me. Which means the words, they are the ones, if you receive the words, it means you have received the name. So you cannot say, I magnify your name 
when you do not even know the name, when you have not received the name, the name should be manifested first to you. So that you can be able, when you sing now to that name, you now know the name that you are singing and yeah. So embroidery is, it belongs to, to Sisera. It belongs to Sisera. Where did Sisera obtain it from? From the prey. So if you are a prey to Sisera, automatically you are going to surrender diverse colors of embroidery, of needlework. Mbatan is wa. We fumba the one. Ni mano mano. Akakazi wani one. Doctrine which was founded by men is what you are spending all your time following. Even if we show you that this is the true gospel Walk away from those fables until and unless the Lord himself is going to come riding upon the swift uh, cloud. Mm. Egypt is not going to be defeated. Yes. Idols in Egypt are going to remain. But we have need to work. Tell <laughs> Tinema jasi ataka tombo paku na sisera. Kwete, zaka zizi kwa paku na mwari kwete, zaka suna nizi kwa ni wanu. Tuko zonu nota wa mawote, nita mwono wana wanu, wanu bae wanu. Waiti tisa nyayi zaka dae. Nita wana yi tisa zonu zi wanu kudae. Ito shokura mwari ripu dae. Raka na karika dae. So, we are going to see the need to work which went to sisera. Now seizing. My sister, ah, that's all my tickets. My just as you are, sister, could have the Guya Kuno. She said, Tell me what happened. The songs that I used to hear people singing, they are no longer singing those songs. I used to hear them mentioning the name of Jehovah. They are no longer mentioning that name. I used to see them praying when they are going to sleep. They now sleep without praying. What happened? I used to see them giving money so that they can receive from God. Now they are no longer doing that. Mm. They are giving to minister to the Lord. What happened? Mm. I used to see them calling men, their fathers, and bowing down to those men. They no longer do that. What happened? Who told them about all these lies? What happened to Sisera? Where are the need to work? of diverse colors. Where are they? So right now as we are gathered in, 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 in the family of God, if we are going to bring back the testimony of the mother of Sisera to that time past, to that old time, you are going to see that in as much as we are giving need to work to Sisera, mm. it was not the same. It yes. was diverse colors and diverse kinds of need to work. Kunyangu zaya msona ni zwa yese, asi anga ya kasiyana. Mm. Wakanga wari kuzion, msona ni zwa yao, ya kasiyana ni wakanga wari kuhi FM, ya kasiyana ni wakanga wari kuhi SGA, ya kasiyana ni wakanga wari mu African traditional religion. Yes. Ya kasiyana, but msona ni zwa, but ya anga ya kasiyana, makala ajwa ya kasiyana. Yes. Different. What happened? What happened? So, on the next, or for those who go with Sisera, we used to see this, uh, this uh, needlework. Mm. Mascaf. Why are you mascaf for Kumana? I was a big mascaf. What happened? What happened? Mm. Hmm? And why on the neck? The word neck is there. It means if they were putting them on their necks, mm -hmm. after collecting them from Israel, it also means that Israel, before Sisera came, before they surrendered, they were putting this in, in network on their necks. Mm. And what does the neck talk of? The neck is the joining place between the head and the body. Mm -hmm. 
You see, if you go to Ephesians chapter 5, verse 23, we're not going to read, and even 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3, you're going to see that Christ is the head of the church. Yeah. And what should we see on the neck of the church? What should we see? We should see grace. Grace is what we should see on the neck of the church. Yes. Hmm? It's grace which Song of Solomon was talking about in, in, in Song of Solomon 4, verse 4. You can read Song of Solomon chapter 4, verse 4. It is grace that he was talking about. Thy neck, yes. Thy neck is like the Tower of David. Yes. Build it for an armory, whereon they hang a thousand bucklers yes. and shields of mighty men. Of shields of mighty men. And when he was talking about uh, the shield, he, he talked about our, our faith. Faith is the shield that we put on. And we all know that faith and grace, they are twins. Yes. You cannot have faith outside grace. Mm. You cannot have grace outside faith. But thy neck, he was describing um, uh, the, the, the neck of, 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 of his, um, uh, let's read verse number one. Of, of Song of Solomon chapter 4 so that you can hear who was talking there. Behold thou art fair my beloved, behold thou art fair thou hast dove's eyes within thy locks, thy hair is a flock of gods that appear from Mount Gilead. Yes. Thy teeth are like a flock of sheep Yes. that are even shown. Yes. Which came up from the washing. Yes. Whereof everyone bear with bear twins, yes. and none is barren among them. You see now. So, he was talking about the neck there, as I have indicated to you, that the neck is a joining place. So, what should we see on the necks of those who are saved? We should see shields. Yes. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. My shield. But, sat down on my shield. Pamsipayao panga paini. Panga paine need work. <laughs> During the time when Cicera was defeating them, we saw need what? Need work of diverse colors on their necks. Cicera wind over Anotora, over Wakunda, Ashita Swaita. So, uh, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 16, he says, Above all, taking, taking the, the shield, shield of faith. faith Yes. Wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. That's why I was talking about if Song of Solomon is now describing the next. He is talking about the next having sh all shields of mighty men. Mm -hmm. He is talking about faith. That's what we see. What joins us to become the church of God is faith. Mm -hmm. It is the grace of God. Atina yes. But before faith, a lot of things used to be on our necks. But those things which were on our necks, they were seen now in Sisera, the place. Zaka iswa pa wakoma na wasisera. Wachi tawato re wakoma na waya. Tatora madam se wau tawakunda. You see. So that's what people see now. The fact that if you want to go to the shrines, the fact that they are not yet joined unto the Lord, mm -hmm. look at what is on their necks. If you see any embroidery work, any need work, it means their head is Sisera, and their head is not Christ. If their head is Christ, what joins Christ and his body? It is what? It is faith and grace. But what joins the devil with his uh, people in brother work? Many made. Do I think I have to say that I have to say that? Do I think I have to say that? I have to say that. 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 So, 
This is the message, my brethren. This is the message. So, what answer are we going to give to the mother of Sisera? What answer are we going to give to the kingdom of darkness? What answer are we going to give as to what brought victory unto Israel? What answer are we going to give? Uchapindura kuti kuna mai wa Sisera. Testimony ya mai wa Sisera wa inzwa. Kuti Sisera ndo zwa hita kudare. So when we want to thank the Lord now, like what Deborah and Barak did, you must understand what Sisera used to do for you to appreciate what Barak did. So when they, were, when they put this uh, stanza in their song, they wanted us to appreciate what the Lord did to us. So this song is not meant for the mother of Sisera. It is meant for us, for us to understand now that we are victorious, what happened? Because it, it used not to be so. It used not to be so. My wife is I was a Ziri, I was at Wasangana Nazo, Zita Pavari. This is a new phenomenon in the city for the first time to see a man who can live a victorious life, who can live a life to overcome the temptations of the devil, to overcome the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life, for the first time. That is if we have such people. <laughs> Right now, you cannot say the chariots of Sisera have fallen, the wheels of the chariots of Sisera have been defeated. As an individual, you cannot talk about the need to work that Sisera, because up to this day, Sisera is still obtaining need to work from you. There are not yet signs in your life that Barak did something. Later alone, the is not Sisera dominating people's lives. Is not Sisera overcoming people. So, you see this equation now, brethren. For us to have a testimony that indeed Christ, out of his love, he came into this world and suffered for our sins and died on the cross. And that we have received now the Spirit of God inside of us. For that to be actually something which is real, where do we go? Would not have videos of what happened when he was on the cross to show you that indeed this is what happened when he was on the cross. At that time when he died, what happened? These phones were not there. Mm -hmm. I think if it, if it was this time, Vangel, mm -hmm. we're going to have others because no one wants accident in Jitika. He had a little video. We're going to have those videos and people will say, ah, no, this is what happened. Mm -hmm. The Lord didn't want us to act on what we see. He wanted us to act on what we hear yeah. because the faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Mm -hmm. So for it to be true that he really died for our sins on the cross, where is that proof that Sisera was defeated? Let's go to the house of Jael. And this Jael I'm talking about you. As you know, Nanas, I will see how do you want to dress the Radarika Vambiri Pako Nanas? 
Ini zuri kunyora manot, zuri kuti sisera kaka kunduana na barak. You are still a slave of the last. How can you get out of it? Instead of going out with no problem, you know, to go to see my rich ones, I know I can't go there. You know, you talk about problem, my man. As my rich ones, I know I can't go there. You know, to see my rich sister, and I can't go home and I can't go there. My rich lady, can I see my man? I can't go there. I know my lady, my man. When you hear such a testimony, it is enough confirmation that Cicera is in control. Yes. The chariots of Cicera are cruising. Maharaja Amba Junta was going to knock. No good. I don't want to be a good. Cicera is like a kundu and a barak. Zinu Pachawani Kwao, Vakatenda. I was so far. I was going to knock on a good. I was going to knock on a good. I was going to knock on a good. Ulo wadi, pasti kan orang nak kawas. Ah mana kira aja sunyi. Hehehe. I testimony, karena sesera kasus gua naimi, am sesera angkat nak, ah nak kundwe. Aye so macam jasa itu ya lewat. Atuk tu aku pun sesera. Kurang dari sesera mau ambe, tu dah senor ajiza. Sesera mau ambe buat, mana tu tu kumara kasih tiri. Zaru kita, nak ati nofa edu, ni utara mana nak kuti, karena orang orang cuya warga kita sama mirah warga kita. Aye, sebulan seka, jinau, isu semua orang tu jual mana tu kita, but new testimony aje, testimony aje, hendi yo, ya tu kupari zapana, eh, jinau nudi. Mario Mumun, how good you won't know, I see, and I'm not soon. How good you won't know, Maruka, I see. My daughter did my young guy and his simba. Sisera is still in charge. Sisera is still in charge. Tishin, Fana Tonga now, Mujaj, Mugangari, Nasuno, Sisera Kun, Wana Barak, Tonga now, the ones. Uyo mukazi uyo wakazotua wani murumu munu, murumu munu, wakazotua wani mukazi. Imi, wana hawa. Wakazi wa ere vangeri. Because i vangeri, mukaka, wakanga wena jayao. Mukaka, ndo wakanga wena jayao. Ndo wakata achingwa wada insisera. Saka vaza bata ne ope, ne ope. Kwa kuturajipike wako wa vam. Mucha vofu. Kwa kuparaja, kwa kumira wate, no. Tamira judgment. Kwa kubuda wa matendi. Sanga ina baraki. Timuta ore kuti. Sisera kwa wane kwa tati. Taka mvora. Tiro kutendai. Ni mkaka wa makatipa. Asuna mbo tineza. Kutindita karara sei sisera. Mkaka wa makatipa. Pataka ngu mpa. Neo ope, neo ope. Ngono, neo ngono. Kwa mkwa kwa chupikiri. Vom. Kwa kuroa. Jio testimony. Mkwana kubuda yoyo. Yo. Muziklaki. I see Ziklaki, 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 Ziklaki. When you are actually giving need work to Sisera. Up to this time, you are still giving need work to Sisera. So what are you doing in Ziklaki? What are you doing in the house of Heba? What are you doing in the house of, 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 of Jael? Urukutwa gay. Sisera pinda ba zingiri wakwa vao. Chafo vao, auchi zipa jiri. Pikir aku na, sanda aku na, muka kau aku na. Don't tell us about Sisera here. Tell us about the milk. Tell us about the hammer. Tell us about the nail. Tell us about what Barak did to Sisera. The testimony is about Christ. Christ manifested in the flesh for sin, and on the cross he defeated the sin. What did he give us? He gave us a message. That if we listen to that message and obey it, we are also going to be victorious. We are going to move from one level of glory to the other. But those who are going to take another counsel, which is not the counsel of God, they are going to move from one level of sin to another. They will add sin to sin. That's what Isaiah chapter 30 verse 1 says. Chiwi pa msorpe chiwi, do cha waru kweda. Asikune waru kutenda vangeri. Glory, famosoro pe mwe glory. 
Tak kasihan. Yes, Pastor. Just allow me to read a little short something that I received here during testimony time. Yes. Magadi evangelist ma follow Pastor Baloyne Amazo says the music lag. Tunoda kutenda shukuru ne basa gurura muri kuita. Inindiri kutambo zika. Nekuda kwe shiwi. Shokura tao rwa andarinzwa. Dai maru andi batzira. Kutindi kwa nese kukara shaka naka muumambo wa David. Diri kuona kutindi ne shaka wa anda shandi nufani na kukazirisa. Apparently, the brother didn't give us the, his name. We yes. Nothing else. Ma basira cho. Yes. Basira marano basira icho kwadi. But you must understand how the Lord is going to help you. How is the Lord going to help you by giving the word to you? Once you receive, not just giving you the word, you have to obey what evangelist my followers teaching us. Yeah. After disobeying. You want to be victorious. Mm. It's not possible. No. That's why Isaiah chapter 30 said, you rejected my counsel. Mm -hmm. You rejected my covering. That's why sin is troubling you. So the answer, my brother, if you are listening, for you to overcome sin, you have to obey the word that you are, you are hearing. Believe. The message. That's how we are going to be victorious. And it's not the only one. Others will not come open to, to share it. Mm. But there are footsteps and strides that we see that Cicera is moving yes. and cruising in people's lives. When they now come to the pastor, that's when you realize that all this while Cicera was cruising mm. and Cicera was, was not even being being hindered. So the equation does not end with Barak defeating Sisera. It comes into your house. Do you have milk in the Lordly dish? Vashinjo wama wano kumble na kudai. Mizuwea kaisi kwa na mwari kutiwa pe muka kawaji. Hawane ishora. Hawaide. Hawane isarudza. Hawane isuidza. Mizuwea aju. Mukakawacho pawari ngoji pari, tawari ngoji wagi chaka nongwa. Ah, mukakawu yau nongzo na kawuka zodai yau na andi mufari ri zaga zodai zaga de. Bari magbara nenga ju furwa so ushirati gua from scripture to scripture. So it is the form of doctrine which evangelist was teaching us in the morning that we have to obey. There is no other solution, brethren, and I can tell you. If this form of doctrine is not going to be your only solution, the counsel of God and the covering of God, which is the Spirit, I can tell you there is no way that you can overcome this there. What you need, my brother, it is the word. Obey the word of God. Tikaita ndonda, kuskuri kitu anasisera kwa chaita. Nchua wanu kwa wakati ya ngara raso, mwenemu kazi we mwenu, kutula wama foto. Mkoshewa kutuku wanga pinda hapo se, kwa sisera wanu darire kwa babawasu, kwa wari babawasu inu wani, kwa wafu ambase, kwa inga wantati na wako kutichi nguwa tese. So kutu urumu sefi, saani ina so sisera. So kutu uri part of the JRM uruma registers, Sisera does not care. As long as you are not going to be obedient to this word, one day you are going to be exposed. That was Sisera as Gumira, the last of the flesh, the last of the eyes, and the pride of life. As Nam Shonga, Vadikan, this is a terror, that 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 is a terror. Kusukata sarenda, micheka kuna sisera. So when you listen to such testimonies, you are hearing someone who have ended over, they need to work to sisera to say, ah, I salute. Yes, you are a warrior. You never salute and respect Christ. You salute sisera. What about Christ? Ah, it seems 
he needs to come again mm -hmm. and die for us on the, on the cross. cross again. Hey. It seems the first sacrifice was not enough. Mm. But is it true? No. The sacrifice was the perfect one. We need to overcome. Our victory is based on what Christ did on the cross. But how are we going to manifest our lives in that victory? Through obedience to the doctrine. Yes. Do you know you all notice me? No party does more. No party Kunyara or Nyarari, Commander of our soul. She said, I know that. Commander Alco, Toropoza, Alco, Ramba, Alco, Irvangera, Tapar, Zapachena, Toropoza, Ujana, Zoljaitwa, Awa, Zambota, I mean, she said, I walk out Marat, she said, I'm the Paris, Do I know that? One day, Jacona salute of them. Nasi said, Ta Murwound. As Andy Kunda, the moon we yam. The last of the flesh. Rabbi, Jacona, that end day. The good part is at the end of it all, oh, Barak is going to come. Yes. When all of us have gone out of our tents. Yes. We are, you may hide it today. Even if you are hiding, no one is going to see it. Mm. But when Barak comes on judgment day, mm. out of the tent, you are, we are going to see what happened mm. when we were here on earth. Yes. Jacona, <laughs> please have this over there. Everything. <laughs> When we preach the word of God, you don't have time with the word of God. Let's see what is going to come out. You spend the time not on the word of God, but on you need to work. Things that were crafted by men by demons, by devils. That's what you spend your time in. That Everything in that phone is giving need to work to Cicera. There's no way the husband has a password on his phone that he, his wife will not see anything. What is it that is in that phone? Is it not Are you not giving credit and need to work to Cicera? Why can't you obey the counsel of God? And why can't you have the true covering, which is the Spirit of God, and follow what the Spirit is saying in the church? And then start to live a victorious life. At least testimony, I can get it. Ah, Zion, you need to ask me to go to Zion. Hmm. 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 Hmm.
Ah, tu pamlo zoka mo ya nyaga remero. Kuti rufu ka. Rota ku total sana. We are expecting the patient if he is in the hospital, he must recover from a bad situation. Slowly and slowly, at least if you tell us that it's now better, we can give credit to Barak. But if you are saying it's now worse, do you expect us to give credit to Barak? You are giving credit to Cicera. What is your testimony? Ah, nothing is changing, Pastor Baloy. Are you obeying the form of doctrine? So this was the message, my brethren. I hope you were blessed. And I hope the Lord is going to help you so that you will live a victorious life. The whole purpose of sharing this message with you, it is so that we may obtain the form of doctrine on account of what Christ did for us on the cross. And then we live a victorious life, waiting for the day approaching. Barak is coming to see so that we may give account of what we have done when we were still in the body. That time is coming. So it's better for you to recover. We want you to come from waste to bed, to good, to better, to best. That's the graph that you want to see. Not from bed to waste, no. Not that one. So when you hear the word of God, which is centered on Christ, just like the uh, sermon you just received, you hear that the word has tricked your heart and you want to be saved. You may ask me a question, what is it that I'm required to do? So if you go to the book of Acts chapter 2, verse 38, we see again Apostle Peter's response to those who have uh, their heart pricked and we, they were asking what should we do we've heard the message we've heard the gospel what is it that is required of us to do or what is the next step I want to be saved then on verse 38 uh, then Peter said unto them repent and be baptized every one of you in the name uh, of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. So when you repent, that is, uh, when you hear the word of God, you want to uh, to follow the word of God, you want to repent to the word of God. You have to do that repentance. After repentance, you go for water baptism, and then you are going to be baptized of the Holy Spirit. That is the procedure for your salvation. After I receive Holy Spirit, you are going to sit down in the house of the Lord and continue to learn the word. But the starting point is the confession to salvation. So if you are hearing me, if you have heard the message and you want to be saved, you must do the confession of salvation. And you must do this confession after me. I want you to raise up your hand wherever you are and then make this confession after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you because of the word that I've heard. I confess with my mouth that you are Lord and that God raised you from the dead. I confess that I'm a sinner who can only be saved by believing the word which is talking about your suffering. I thank you because you died for me on the cross so that my sins can be forgiven. I thank you because you have demonstrated that you love me and I can only be saved by submitting to the word of God which I have heard. I thank you, Lord, because you have sacrificed your life for my salvation. Amen. So if you have made this confession and what is awaiting you is baptism, like I said, we have uh, the conduct details. Our conduct details 
in all the regions, uh, they are always displayed on the screen. Uh, you just check the number which is close to the region where you are and you get hold of the, the leaders or the people responsible in that particular region. They are going to help you.